Why does this look so dark? I swear it looks darker than normal. Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight you guys know the deal. I'm bored. Let's do some shipping. And by shipping, I mean let's let's sink some ships. Shall we? Let's get this party started. Now, I already got tomorrow's video done, and I promise it's going to be a banger. So hopefully you guys are ready for the conclusion to the path to the Amalfi. But uh, I've played enough freaking cruisers for the for the week. I am going to be playing me some battleships. Uh, Wednesday, I have a plan. I am going to be playing uh, some, some nations battleship Wednesday. So, uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that, highly recommend you guys watch that stream when it comes up. Usually around 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Maybe a little bit later, but that's when it usually starts. But, uh, welcome to the stream, everybody. Sorvins, Per Michael, Dark Lord, uh, Thod, how's it going? Alex, Mr. Universe, Thunder Skull, Nightshade, Evan, Mikhail, Reese, Kazo, Jonathan, Scottly, Lee, good to see you guys. Welcome to the stream. Uh, let's get started with something a little different. Let's go with the hood right out the gate. Let's just go with the hood straight out the gate. What up, pro gamer? Chris, good to see you guys. Welcome to the stream. I don't know how long this stream's gonna last. It's probably gonna last till I start to get frustrated, but, uh, it's just one of those times where I just don't feel like going to bed yet. So, figure might as well jump on, give you guys some, some good old ship, ship stream. What up, Juan? Good to see you as well. Nuked one, good to see you. Yeah, Mikhail, I, I saw your name and I was like, it looks pretty pretty straightforward to pronounce that, believe it or not. What is actually going on with the camera? I feel like something has changed with my freaking TV or something. Like, I'm looking at the stream, the stream looks normal, but for me, everything looks dark. Kind of weird. Kind of weird, driving me crazy. I think it's something to do with my TV. I think my TV upgrade or updated recently, and I think it's messing with my settings. Uh, I don't hate the look of it. I'm just saying it looks darker than usual. I did good on your name too, Juan. Good. What up, Jay? How's it going? I, I try. I do try. Action stations. Uh, you just got the Missouri. Can I show you your build? Yeah, I can do that. We'll do that next. We'll, we'll jump into Missouri. Don't threaten me with a good time in an Iowa class battleship. You know? I got no problem with it. Y'all know that. Yeah, see, I'm looking at the stream on, on YouTube, and it looks normal. But when I'm looking at it, it just looks dark. So I'm not sure what's going on there. It's definitely something that has changed. Oh, look, it's a Byron. Hello, Byron. I, I, I don't have the range to shoot you yet, but soon. Soon, sir. Revanth, good to see you. Alex? Oh no, he's turning bow in. He just shoot some AP at his bow. In the right direction anyway. Uh, Evan, Timothy, good to see you guys. Jonathan, I don't know if I called you out, but I think I did. Look at that accuracy! That was a re that was a freaking nail driver, man. Those shells come in like a pile driver from freaking The Undertaker. Literally straight down in a nice tight grouping. You'll love to see it. Also, why do I have a feeling that those, those, uh, are coming for me, aren't they? Yeah, they are definitely, in fact, coming for me. Also, there is a bulletproof over here. Torpedoes to port. Oh my god, it's a freaking Russian carrier. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Yep. That's balance for you right there. 100% balance. Okay, let's go ahead and load up some HE and prepare to fight this freaking destroyer, whatever the heck a bulletproof is. We've got sonar, so we should be able to catch him off guard here. He seems to be the aggressive type, so we're going to try to uh, do something about him. I am worried about this Byron deciding to yeet me here. Going broadside in a, as a, in a hood is a bad idea. Okay, we good. All right. 
We're just gonna sneak it up. Sneak it up. We're gonna get over here. Look at this little turd thinking he's special. Torpedoes to port. Mm. Come on, Spartan. I'm going to yeet you when I come around the corner. I want you to know this. You will be getting yeeted, sir. You have 20k health from the, the looks of it, so... We're gonna see just how much of that I can take off with one salvo of AG. Well, apparently I don't need to take as much as I thought. Take that. And now you die, sunshine. Get out of here. How? How is it his secondaries are the ones that get the damage? Also, that's a hell of a torp strike by him. He got both of us. Let's hope that that guy still had, uh... Problem solved, sir. Oh, shit. Should have had AP loading. But, uh, either way. We good. Get to, get this thing turned around. Get angled. We fine. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There are... There's another fucking destroyer here? Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? That's all this game has is fucking destroyers nowadays. Torpedoes dead ahead. God dang it. The whole purpose was to fucking ruin these little turds. I didn't realize I'm gonna have another fucking destroyer over here. Breaks my fucking turret. turret. Damaged. You got to be shitting. Look at him. Nighty night, sunshine. Enemy destroyer sound team has taken. Double lead. strike. Enemy I'll take it. Destroyed. Not the best. Not the best situation for us, but we did our job. We got rid of two of their three destroyers. Of course, we would have to fight the carrier and two of the three destroyers. Of course we would. That's just how this game works. It's like, ah, Spartans in the game. Let's give them the biggest challenge possible. So while we didn't get the most damage, we took out two destroyers. Well, we we took out two destroyers. The Yuga stole one with a secondary somehow. But uh, we did all the damage. Uh, yeah, so Missouri. Let's, let's do Missouri real quick. Misery, how we doing, mighty mo. All right, so this is my build for all of my American battleships with the exception of Massachusetts and New Jersey and Georgia. So, William Sims, Azure Lane Shard Horse, Palo de Revel. We got Flamble Cannoneer, Gyrating Drill Bits, Marksmanship, and Reaching Out XXL. I stopped using Will to Rebuild and use Fight Fire with Fire now. Uh, for the rest of it, we are running aiming systems, or sorry, not aiming systems, main battery mod 2 for a little bit of extra turret traverse. We've got steering gears because I prefer to, uh, get out of the way of things when I need to. Uh, propulsion mod helps those people who like to be sitting still a lot. I don't do that in my battleship, so if you want to use propulsion mod, go for it. Obviously, we're running concealment mod to get us that uh, little bit of extra concealment to allow us to fire when we get a good shot rather than being the first thing spotted. And of course, artillery plotting room for the memes. Gotta have that dispersion. You want all, all of the accuracy you can get on these things. And with that, let's get into it. What up, Ender? How's it going? Appreciate everybody dropping in tonight. If you guys enjoy the stream, make sure you guys punch that like button. Uh, Scotty, I see you as well. Um, Ivar, good to see you. Do I like Daniel? I don't know who that is. I'll be 100%. I don't know who that is. I'm going to assume that it's uh, a YouTuber, but I have no idea who that is. So I couldn't tell you. Matty K coming in with the $5. Sup, my dude. Welcome to the stream. He plays the normal World of Warships. Ah. Yeah, I, I don't know who that is. I've heard, I've watched a little bit of Like I said, I don't watch a lot of content creators. Um on World of Warships PC. The main one that I watch is Flambass. I love Flambass. 
Dude, dude is like my kind of people. I love me some Flambass. He plays aggressively, but smart. He uh, is just a normal dude that, that goes out and he, he voices his frustrations when he gets frustrated. He laughs and giggles the whole time. Like, it's just my, my kind of dude. I love me some Flambass. A speed build Missouri. I mean, you could, but I don't see the point. I really don't. Like, if you want to go with, like, a speed build on anything, you'd think maybe Georgia because of the speed boost or the engine boost, whatever you want to call it. But you really don't need a speed build on a Missouri or an Iowa class. Um, you give up too much of your accuracy to do meme stuff like that. Like, it's just the same thing for secondaries. Like, I've got a Massachusetts. I don't need... Oh, is he going to bow into us? What do we got over here? Brandenburg? Brandenburg's going inside, too. Okay. We'll see if we can get this guy. He looks like he's going to go broadside, so I'm just going to give him a little bit of time here. We've got a little bit. Enemy okay, so he's stopping. We also get a free shot without being spotted. Uh, Tashkent versus what? Late Terrible? Are you kidding me? How is that a thing? How is it a guy can stop full broadside? I can fire a full salvo at his broadside and watch all of the shells miss him except one. Like, come on. Like, that shit doesn't happen to me. Like, that is legitimately something that only happens when I'm shooting at people. Like, I never get that lucky. I, I could never go full broadside in front of battleships and stop and hope to God that RNG just bails me out. Like, that can't happen. It doesn't work. Like, I don't understand how people get away with that shit. The game literally protects it. What up, Godzilla? Ricky, good to see you. Mm. Problem with running a brawling build is, like, you can't run the brawler perk for sure. But, like, running a brawler build is just asking for, uh... A little bit of heartache. Oh my god. Look at this. Is it going to save him twice? Is it going to save him twice? That's the question. Yes, it is. It's just going to bail him out. My shells will go everywhere except where I actually aim them so that it goes and bails his dumb ass out. Uh, game, 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 game. Hello, Kansas. How are you? Do you know how to shoot my superstructure? You do not. Good. I'm glad. Guess what I know how to hit on you. Enemy destroyer sighted. Come on, Missouri. Turn back, you big bitch. Before he gets those guns loaded, slow down. This guy's definitely going to be a problem if he decides to ram. Is he running a secondary build, Kansas? He is. I don't know why he would be, but he's his secondary started firing at me at five and a half kilometers. Which is a little odd. A little unconventional, one would say. I would like to get in reverse right about now, if I'm being honest. He is still begging to get absolutely obliterated through his bow side plating. Playing. Kansas is a bad ship. He he just went to the Facebooks and, and told everybody how bad the Kansas actually is. I don't know how anybody could play the Kansas. That's how, right there. That's those people. <laughs> That's how that works. Those people get their butts kicked because they just sail around broadside the entire time and that they are the ones that go to the Facebook and complain that the ship is bad. <laughs> what up, Johnny? Bjorn, or Bjorn, I should say. It's not Bjorn. God, talk about a freaking doofus. I went full like Bjorn. Oh, an HE build Brandenburg. Isn't that cute? Look at him run away in his Brandenburg at that. It's cute. It really is. It's cute. Also, my shell's over lead, apparently. Interesting. 
Got the New Jersey. I should have went to the inside here, taken this fight on the outside against Brandenburg. It's just going to delay the inevitable. Like, he's not that scary, but he is spamming HE like a little noob. And he's got secondary, so he's going to get fires. What I'll probably do is utilize the island in front of me and try to get crossfires on those guys if I can. We do still have our radars for the Tashkent if we get a chance, but we need to get a position to where we can help our team. The guy that's behind me, I, I don't know what he's doing. There's a cruiser behind me that's just like just now coming around the island. No one has any idea what that guy's doing. Uh, Brandenburg has decided to choose death. I prefer that. I mean, if you're going to draw, if, if drawing it out was your goal, this is not how you do that. Uh, okay, go ahead and do that. He shouldn't have enough range to do damage with torpedoes here. He's about to be behind the island. So we'll use that to get some crossfires on his team. He's still over angled. We'll go for super structure by shooting at his front turret here. Didn't quite get the shot that I was looking for. He gets the... Im Dude, imagine getting that kind of RNG. Like, let's just be real. Imagine getting that RNG. Only bad players get that kind of RNG. Like, the moment my shit hit cooldown, it was a fire. From a secondary. Dude's got like a 6% chance to set a fire with that shit. Gets a secondary fire the moment my shit goes on cooldown. Imagine having that kind of RNG on your side. It's only bad players that get away with that. You gotta love it. That is... Like, that is the epitome of the game, right there. Like, that tells you everything you need to know. All right, we got an Ochakov out here. We're gonna go ahead and blind fire over the top of the island. See how he took himself out of the fight by us using the islands? Like, I don't have to worry about him anytime soon. I don't. We got the reset. We're gonna go for the Odin now. Get another hit here. But yeah, this is... Bubble fight. Look at this fucking RNG from these people. It must be... It must be nice to get that kind of RNG so often. But again, I don't know where my team went. Like, I've got a destroyer. And he should be, like, going for caps and stuff. If this Brandenburg decides to come around this corner, I'm gonna have a, a uh, prize for him. It looks like my destroyer is trying to torp him as well. Problem solved, sir. We're in a good position here. We get 20 seconds, we get another heal. Our destroyer is getting himself fucking killed for no reason. Hello, sunshine. Remember me? That's all. Do you see what I'm talking about? Do you see? That is five full pins, and of course he gets the fire the moment his secondaries hit me. He's full broadside, I get five full pins for like 3k damage. That doesn't even make sense. Alright, let's try to get rid of the fucking radar cruiser here. Like, that doesn't even make sense, man. And of course, we can't kill him. How are we even still spotted? I guess the chappy? Are we gonna... We get the fire up. Imagine it's the fire from us that kills him. That's just fucking karma. That's just fucking karma. I don't care what side of the argument you're on. That's fucking karma. That dude had such good fire RNG, it's actually sad. And then to come around the corner full fucking broadside, take five full pins from point blank and no damage. Like, how does that even work? Like, I, I want to know how I managed to hit that guy for like 5k damage with five full pins from an Iowa-class battleship at five, or six kilometers. Like, that doesn't even make sense. But they have two radars left. This Lay Terrible needs to not do this right now. Like, he's in position to get himself killed. Mogami, he's got probably no chance here. That's why I tried to get rid of those little freaking Russian turds. But, dude, the like, the RNG that was displayed in this match from the fucking enemy is hilarious. 
Like, that dude got a fire every time he hit me with an HE shell from his fucking secondaries. I swear to God, at one point, he got more damage with his 305mm HE barrage than I got on that last salvo on him with AP. Like, that doesn't even compute. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. How can 305mm HE do more damage in one salvo than a fucking broadside from an Iowa-class battleship at point blank? Doesn't even make sense. Like, that should have been an absolute pounding, and we got, like, 5k damage out of it with five full pins. Ugh. So, so sad. So sad. What else do we want? We want to go with a Bismarck game. Let's go with a Bismarck game. Um, let's go with the Porcupine, please, because I like meme builds. That's just sad. What up, Wolfie? Good to see you. Yami as well. Thank you guys for, uh, the thing. Make sure we get some goats in the chat for Maddie and Yami as well. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for nine months, Yami. Ernie, good to see you. Werewolf. Mace, good to see you. Is this the last week, or is it one more week? Like, I can never remember. Is this the last week of the campaign, or is there one more? Yeah, clearly he was running the incendiary HE. 100%. I mean, I know I run fucking flammable cannoneer, so I get I get a, a disadvantage in terms of fire chance, but that's just obnoxious. Like, that dude got a fire on me every goddamn time. Every time. Have a good night, Johnny. Appreciate you dropping in. What up, Brian? Wicket, good to see you guys. Ozzy, good to see you. Appreciate you guys dropping in. Devin, I see you as well. Japanese cruisers have been so nasty. Haven't gotten dev struck. Decent games... Yeah, uh, well, count your chickens before they hatch, why don't you? Don't get me wrong, the Japanese cruisers are incredibly broken, especially if you're running the Otago Commander with that stupid skill that gives you 25% chance to set fires. But, uh, but yeah, like, if you're, if you're taking the Japanese cruisers out, it's just a matter of time. All it takes is one, one time of not paying attention, you'll go back to port in a hurry. One time. What up, Spookies? How's it going? Mr. Vitti, good to see you. We're going to head over towards the right and see what we can get into. Of course, there's four destroyers because you can't play the game without having 30 destroyers per game. You're not allowed. I played cruisers all week. Like, I played cruisers all week. I can tell you one time this week did I have, like, more than two cruiser or two destroyers in a match playing a cruiser. One time. And I killed two of the three destroyers that were in that match. And we lost. Because teams. But in a battleship, it's all day, every day, nothing but destroyers. Oh, look. A Japanese cruiser. Ah, uh, he's turning. Which Bismarck? Oh, my God. That actually looks accurate. Uh, it looks pretty accurate. Give it to me, baby. Bonk. Oh yeah, we'll take that all day. All day, and twice on Sunday. <sighs> I just burned my fucking secondary booster, and this guy's gonna smoke up an attach kit and just not be able to do anything. And now he's gonna eat a torpedo. And that's the end of that game. Oh, he dodged it. He dodged it. Well done. I say as I'm about to run into the damn thing. I just wasted a secondary booster, though. Because I thought he was going to spot, but, you know, can't have that. You're not allowed to spot as a destroyer. Somehow he already lost half his hit points against a Fletcher. I don't know if the Benson was with the Fletcher. Lightning's over there. Three, four destroyers in this match. Two of them are in the same location because can't do anything. And then this guy's just sitting here waiting to get yeeted. Just sitting in a smokescreen broadside, just waiting to get yeeted at this point. Oh my god, there's a god dang... This is why we can't have people sitting in their fucking smokescreen not spotting. Get it, secondaries. Come on, baby. Break those fucking torpedo tubes. 
Break him again. He's already got me on two fires. Okay. Torpedos voraus. Don't worry, I'm just driving up in here watching everybody explode. What could go wrong? Swing and a miss, sunshine. Gonna have to do better than that. I've got heels. Oh, you had fun. Why is my ship not turning? Like, for reals. Go ahead and put that out. We got a Bismarck here. Front guns out on that. Oh, look, he shot at me. Thank you. Problem gelöst. Fletcher, Mogami, Belfast. Okay, Belfast. I see you. Also, there's a destroyer behind me, so I need to pay attention to that. Gets the double fire on a single salvo. Again, tell me you're a bad player without telling me you're a bad player. Fire your goddamn guns again. Oh, he gets the triple. Go ahead, fire your guns. I know you see me. There you are. All these. Too short, too short. Unser Sieg ist in Sicht. Freaking turd blossom. Go ahead. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Go broadside to my whole team to escape me with my Bismarck too strong for you? Oh, that looks like it's stung, sunshine. Oh, he's radaring now. Isn't that cute? You gotta love it. Keep being bad, guys. Keep being bad. Spam your HE out of your Belfast, sitting broadside in your smoke screen, waiting to die. And then when you get spotted, go immediately broadside in front of DPM to avoid avoid getting blasted by me, and then it's still end up getting blasted because you don't know what you're doing. It's just, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. 40 seconds, we get another uh, reload, or er, freaking sonar. Let that fire burn out. Cisco coming in, re-upping his membership for four months and 471 or 4718 coming in, re-upping his membership for four months as well. Thank you guys both so much. And can we get some uh, goats in the, the chat? Warship. Where the hell is this guy hiding? What the hell are you doing all the way out there, dude? Torpedoes direct for us. Oh no, it's a torpedo. I wonder who this could be, Kagero. Only I had people that could... Ah, there he is. Ah, of course, those miss. Secondaries? Yo. When will they learn, boys? Little word of advice for you destroyer players. Stop aiming at the white line. Pay attention to what the person is doing. Stop actually just launching on the white line. Like, I legitimately just walked right up in there and murdered every destroyer on their team. Uh, and took one torpedo the entire game. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it, man. That Brandenburg getting his, his torpedoes knocked out was clutch, though. That was really clutch. Secondary's doing their job. You gotta love it. Devin coming in, re-upping his membership for six months as well. Can we get some uh, ghosts in the chat for Devin too? Appreciate you guys. But the white line is always right. Yes, it clearly is. Definitely. You know, unless of course a person is like slow and stopping or, or slowing down or, or speeding up <laughs> or turning. Yeah, white line's definitely where they should should definitely definitely do the thing all right let's let's go with 
Let's go with Moggy. Let's go with Moggy. We got this. What up, Jacob? <clears throat> Fat Weed, how's it going? Illuminati, good to see you. Friesland's a lot of fun. The problem with Friesland is that uh, it doesn't have that get away from me for anything larger than a cruiser. <clears throat> like, battleships legitimately don't fear a Friesland. So once they realize you're a Friesland, they're just going to charge straight at you. And uh, it's not going to end in your favor. Now, that being said, if you're able to utilize the Friesland at any sort of medium to long range against battleships, you can DPM the shit out of them with damage over time and do some good work there. And also, against destroyers, it's second to only one, I think, and that would be the Lo Yang. Lo Yang has American DPM, but a extended range sonar. Friesland also has extended range sonar, but the Lo Yang should have the advantage in spotting against a Friesland. Which can be quite awkward, not to mention the Lo Yang has torpedoes. But, uh, but yeah, Friesland's actually a lot of fun to play. It's a different type of play style to most destroyers, so it's it's just fun. Everybody's talking about the Friesland and you live in Friesland? Nice. What up, Joel? Good to see you. Wades, how's it going? Appreciate you dropping in. Hello, Alsace. How are you? I'll take that shot over the island. Let's see how that goes. <clears throat> that looks pretty freaking accurate, to be honest. That's all horizontal, but it looks like he's turning towards me, so. Okay, we actually slapped the shit out of him. We'll take that trade. I can go ahead and drop that. Fire the rear guns through the gap. He's going to kind of cheat forward, so I think we're going to slap him. That eh, could have been better. Got four shatters. He is angled, but I thought we could pin it to that angle. Clearly, I was mistaken. Okay, that guy's turning away. We got spotted? Okay. Weird. Are they smoking up? No. Yeah, they totally smoked up a goddamn Vanguard. Who does that? Okay, we got a shot out of the Vanguard there. I think we may have caught him here. I don't think he sees it coming. That's all we get, one shell? Come on, Amagi! I know you're a tail of two ships, but can we get the good one, please? Okay, he just fired his guns, and he doesn't get detected. Great. HE? Nope, it's AP. I respect it. <clears throat> I respect the AP. Okay, he's, he's gonna turn. So we've got a Vanguard that actually kind of knows what he's doing, even if he's not, you know, playing particularly well. Of course, it's a carrier game, and the carrier comes into the middle of the map to counter me. Hope it was worth it, Vanguard. That might sting a bit. There's an Alabama here, too. Okay, well. I'll say it might sting a bit. It didn't do crap. What is the fucking carrier? Pobeda. Of course it is. Hello, Prince Eugen. Japan says hello. It's a quad fire and one drop from a goddamn carrier. A quad fire and one drop. What the fuck is that? This man has god tier RNG. And now I'm in the middle of getting spammed by fucking Charles Martel and this guy. And there's a fucking cruiser sitting in a smoke screen over here. So we're gonna be double or triple fired pretty quick here. 
And the Alsace is shooting over the top of the island on the other side of the god dang map to shoot me. And he hits me. Beautiful. God dang. Look at this team though. Look at look at my team. Wonder why. I wonder why the entire enemy team can focus me, guys. Can we can we point out anything that could be a potential problem for winning this match? Just anything. It, the first thing to come to mind. And your first guess doesn't count. Like fuck. Can you point out a single problem that could be wrong with this team? Just just one. Let's look. Remember, this is a domination match. The point is to try to capture base. The entire team is here, and they are not doing shit. They are just sitting here. They don't understand basic concepts like, hey, if you're going to come to one side, push. You got that. You got all the numbers. You brought the entire fleet over here. Why are you so fucking scared to move forward at this point? There's two ships. Two ships. But they don't move forward. Then they take our entire teams of firepower, they hide it behind an island, and they hope for the best. Meanwhile, we're losing the match. We've lost four people because none of these guys want to grow a pair and actually move forward. Like, I thought I was going to be okay going into the middle of the map. I didn't realize that my entire team was hiding behind an island in the back watching. So we got focused by literally everybody in the lobby, including the carrier. The quad fire, though. Like, that, that just sums up everything that's wrong with a fucking carrier. The fact that the guy could drop one time and get a quad fire with a fucking carrier. That's just stupid. It's just dumb. It shouldn't happen. Hi. What up, Jay with? Pluto, good to see you. Quad fire in a single. Now, it may not have been just the carrier that hit me and got the quad fire. There was a second cruiser, or there was a third cruiser that started shooting us. So, he may have contributed. But we got quad fired about the exact same time that the carrier hit us with fucking... Uh, the shit, but it's just funny. Like you, you gotta love it, man. The fire chance in this game is absolutely busted. Absolutely busted. It does not work properly. They can say that, you know, it's working as intended, but I've, I've seen it firsthand. You can't tell me that a ship with a 7% chance to set fire is going to set a fucking fire every time it fires at you. That that's not how 7% works. <laughs> Like, 7% means 7 out of 100 should set a fire, right? But yeah, it doesn't work. But yeah, it's just, you gotta love it, man. Teams are dumb. Like, they, there's just nothing else to say. Like, you try to, you try to teach people, you try to keep a positive mindset, but people are just not going to learn. Like, this is four years into the game's history, and these people still do the same shit. Like, if the entire team is going to hide behind a fucking island, the same island, not even like they're spreading out and one's behind this island, that one's behind that island. No, they're all cluttered together behind the same goddamn island, not doing anything useful, not trying to push their flank. They took the entire team to one side of the map and then just sat behind an island and watched. <laughs> took them seven minutes to sail over to the same spot on the map and then just sit there. You just don't understand what goes through people's heads, man. Our DD is going mid. What are the odds that their DD spawns here and comes into this this gap? Well, we got a Caracciolo. Maybe Citadel him. We get a free shot. That's always nice. Uh, looks solid. Center of the ship. One. One shell. Ernie? <sighs> really, guys? We're going here already. What is this, the fourth match? Okay, well, let's go ahead and turn out. Prepare for a fucking fight with somebody who's in the stream. He's got torpedoes on his battleship that's going to keep me from going into the cap. Yami coming and dropping 20 gifted members on the channel. Thank you so much, my dude. We got to get some goats in the chat for Yami. How am I still spotted by a plane? There isn't a plane anywhere on this side of the goddamn map. I say as it pops up. Indy, don't 
Don't test me. I will... Oh, Lord, have mercy. I will be pushing this flank. Look at all these little turds running. Look at them! They're doing the same thing my team did in the last match. Like, they're... Literally, their entire team's going to the same spot on the map. So we're gonna try to get the crossfire here. All stations, concentrate fire on that target. And try to put ourselves in a good position to take advantage of all these doofuses all like getting in the same spot. And this is exactly what my team just did in the last, the last game. And this is the problem with the game: is people just don't know how to play, and they're not trying. hell is this indie doing? For reals. This guy just wants to die, I think. Like, why are you charging after a fucking John Bart of all things? You're just lucky that my shit has had the RNG of nightmares so far. Like, you legitimately want to fucking die. Look at that RNG just dodging his ship. Like, he doesn't have to do anything. He just fucking sails in a straight line and my ship will dodge him. Unfortunately, now he's broadside and I got a reload booster, so good luck. What? What the fuck is going on with my ship? Ernie just killed our Argonizer, though. That checks out. Oh, there's the tor- Oh, yeah, that's- that's the one that finally decides to hit him. Okay, got it. He's flat broadside, can't touch him with one shell. He goes fucking turns away, I hit him with every shell and manage to just absolutely cook his fucking ship. That checks out. Somebody gonna try to yoink my shit? You can't have it. Ernie? What have I told you guys about getting into my games on purpose? I don't know if you actually are or not, but I'm going to make sure that you pay for it. Really? John Bart, can you please hit the goddamn target? Like, we've had one good salvo so far this entire game. One good salvo. Look at this angle that I have. Oh, he's going he's gonna to bow tank me, isn't he? Yeah, of course he is. Of course he is. Uh, how do you like that superstructure? It's open for business, and now you're broadside to my entire team. Goodbye. Hope you had fun. Uh, this could be gratuitous. This thing turned too hard there. I didn't want to miss the island. But next shot kills him for sure. What the? F you gotta be fucking kidding me! He just. No, I refuse to believe what just happened. Just happened. I couldn't have gotten fucked by RNG any harder than I just did. There is no fucking way that that just fucking happened. One motherfucking salvo destroys both my front guns. One salvo! Not to mention the fact that as he's firing said salvo, I have a clear view of his fucking broadside. And I unleash a salvo into him after I just fucking double citadeled his ass and left him alive on the previous salvo. I have an even better look and I don't get a single citadel and I leave him alive? You can't get any more fucked than that! That is literally RNG fucking me as hard as possible in one fucking moment. 
one moment. You've got to be fucking kidding me. It doesn't get any worse than that. Not only do I get fucked on the Citadel that should kill him, but he destroys both guns in one salvo? The first time I've been shot! It's not like my guns had limited hit points. No, the very first fucking time he destroys both my guns. That is fucking horseshit. That is actual horseshit. Fuck him, man. It, that's the kind of RNG that I get with. Notice that what he did, what did he do? What did he fucking do, guys? He's like, mm, I'm in a flight of Vostok. I know how to use this ship. I'm going to go flat broadside to the first fucking person I see. First person I see, I'm going to go flat broadside. He goes flat broadside, he lives. Because reasons. Take two-thirds of his health, leave him alive. Because you have to. It's in the rules. So then, I get a fucking reload. I got a, a good fucking chance to fucking finish him off. And then he destroys both my fucking guns and lives. But that's fucking bullshit! That is the, that is the game, that is the epitome of why people say that the game protects bad players. Because nothing he did made any sense there. That's not the game rewarding a good play. That was not a good play. That was him being a fucking idiot. And the game is like, no, sorry, that would be mean if you were to delete him outright. Okay, so you, he lives, but not only is he going to live, but he's going to take one shot at your fucking guns and destroy both of them, and you're going to leave him alive. Because of reasons. Because of reasons. That's how it works. That's how it fucking works. That is literally the game protecting stupid-ass players. There's no other fucking argument for what just occurred. I don't care who's from Wargaming, I don't know how many games you got fucking in your bullshit, but there is no fucking chance that what just happened is okay. That is literally the game just saying, fuck you. That is all that is. That is RNG just saying, fuck you in particular. <laughs> like, I can't even be mad at that. That's just fucking obnoxious. Like, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Like, that's fucking insane, man. I, I don't even... I don't have words. I don't. I don't have words to describe what the fuck that was. <laughs> Oh my god, only on Spartan Elite 43 do you guys get such entertaining content. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god dang it. I ain't even mad, that's just fucking annoying. <laughs> that is literally just proving all the points of all the players that say bad players get protected in this game. Case in point, Helena. Can't see anything. Already firing his guns, getting himself lit up. And... Everybody on the map fires at him over the island, completely blind. He's sailing flat broadside, turns away at the last second. We aimed a little high, expecting a turn away. One overpin. One overpin. Gets away with it. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Thank God our destroyer is doing circles behind our battleships over there. Wouldn't want him to, like, move forward and try to do anything useful. Would we? All right, we got a Leon over here. We got a Kansas over here on the right side. His name is, it's just a game. So you know he's a good player. Leon's broadside to everybody. So he gets slapped for a third of his health. And gets away with it. Only get 11K. First shot from the uh, the good player of the Helena hits me with a single HE shell, gets a fire. Because again, gotta love that uh, low fire chance out of those American light cruisers. Broadside of an Edinburgh. Did we catch him off guard? Sure fucking looks like it. Five overpins. Five overpins. Oh, Lord have mercy. This game just gets better and better with each passing day. And then the Alabama's taking a shot at me. And I just turned into it. Yep. I don't get the benefit of the doubt, do I? It's not how that works. Five thousand damage there. 
We have a Kagero and a cruiser there pushing up on that smoke screen. They should have plenty of opportunities to absolutely ruin that fucking destroyer. Yami with another $10 bomb. Appreciate you, my dude. Aim high here. Slow down. Hope he overleads. We get a good hit. He completely whiffs. We get six overpins on a battleship. Lord have mercy. Tonight's RNG has just not been there for us. We've been spotted. I need support. Oh, dear Lord. Look at that accuracy. That could have been much worse. Thank God that they decide to wait until this guy launches torps at me before they fucking decide to yolo him. Glad that that's a fucking thing. And now they kill him. Of course they do. Our team has taken the lead. Oh, Lord have mercy, man. Our RNG tonight has been fucking abysmal. We've had shitty fucking salvos, we've had fucking all the worst possible RNG that could go wrong has gone wrong. Over the island, question mark? No, only two shells make it. Now look, it's, it's fucking superhero Helena. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna turn all the way out? Is he gonna turn back? Place your bets. Aim long. Straight down Main Street. Nope. One shell goes to where we actually aim it. The other ones go everywhere else. Okay, what is this? Alabama? Yeah, Alabama's coming back for more. Boy, these guys are getting fucking lucky with the RNG, aren't they? Alright, what are the odds that we can come around this corner and smack this god dang Alabama in the mouth? Well, we're spotted by the fucking plane of a dead man. Oh my god, if I can get it come around this corner. Okay, he just fired his guns. Superstructure and guns. We break a gun, but we don't destroy it, because, you know, when I shoot at guns, nothing fucking happens. But by God, they shoot at guns, and they fucking destroy that shit every fucking time. I just wonder if that guy's running on his flatty. I wonder if that guy's running, like, the Azure Lane Chepayev commander. shot me. I swear to God, I saw him shoot over top of me. Ooh, that torp looks pretty fucking good. Right down Main Street. Bonk. Right down Main Street. Hello, Nagato. Hold these. There we go. I knew I'd find the Citadel eventually. Just a matter of time. Oh look, it's the superhero! He's back! The ship is on fire! All right, Mr. Superhero. Problem solved, sir. Can't maneuver my ship because I got a god dang full health battleship right here.
I'm taking you with me. I want you to know that. Get the fuck out of here, you little turd. I told you, I'm taking you with me. I'll go down, but I'm taking you with me. Actually, I might survive this. Mm, no, close. Very close. 1.9 seconds left on the fire there. 1.9 seconds left on that fire. What up, Toll? How's it going? Pistachio, good to see you. Gherkin in the chat. Jeff, I already said Jay with, but what up? Welcome, everybody. Did they buff H.E. Wilson? Oh, it's literally just H.E. It's always been fucking broken. Terminator, coming in with the 550 New Zealand. If you ever feel RNG rigs you, remember, against a three Wyoming div, I fought. Will to rebuild, no doubt they stayed together. I, okay. You killed them in a Orion? Well, I mean, you're talking about a fucking tier three carrier at tier three. Like, there's nothing that, that counters a tier three carrier. There just isn't. Other than, like, a destroyer or a cruiser yellowing across the map specifically to kill you. Anyway. Uh, what else can we do? Let's go to New Jersey. New Jersey's a good ship. Play Lennon? I don't like playing the Russian battleships. They're so boring. What up, 3Jade? How's it going? Don't be so toxic. Yeah. Yeah, you know me. Mr. Toxicity. That's what they call me. What up, Noah? Good to see you as well. Do, 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 do. Has anybody watched Guardians of the Galaxy 3 yet? Have you guys watched it? There's got to be somebody in the chat that's watched it. Alright, what do we got? We got the shortened version of this map, which is absolutely toxic on the outside edge. Because somebody in their infinite wisdom decided to leave those two islands just enough inside the fucking border to fuck you completely. Also, why the fuck do we have a shortened version of this map, which is not that big to begin with, at tier 7? Like, for reals. Glad you enjoy, Noah. Rusty, good to see you. Pragmatic, good to see you. Starts. Weird, Pragmatic. I've never seen that. I, it's subscriber only. Like, that we had to do a long time ago because of all the stupid chat bots Let's that are out there. Time. So we had, to, we had to make it subscriber only. Of course, I'm also in the fucking uh, New Jersey, so of course they're going to make it to where, like, I'm close and personal, right? Like... Yami, let's be honest. I don't think anybody's going to get training rooms anytime soon. I stopped even thinking about them. Honestly. Like, I, if they ever show up, then I'll, whatever. But I, I'm not going to hold my breath and I'm not going to keep talking about them. It's not going to save the game. That's over 10 kilometers. If I do manage to score a Citadel here, that Zeton's going to have a bad time. What do we got? Iowa? Okay. I gotta be careful coming out here to this edge, because this is exactly how I got fucked against that goddamn battlecruiser last time. Where is there a fucking plane spotting me? Oh, hi, mines. How are you? What else is here? A taco? Look like it stung a little bit, mines. The ship is on fire. Maybe you shouldn't just be sitting out there in open water begging to get blasted. Of course, they got three cruisers, and I get two of the the fire spammers. Enemy battleship detected.
What is going on in the minds of this goddamn USS Black? Of course, not allowed to kill him. That'd be crazy. Why would he... He knew that the fucking Otago was there. Or whatever it is. He knew it was there. He knew it had backup. And yet he still went around the corner to try to fucking torpedo in Iowa. Lost three quarters of his health. For what? Like for reals. What goes through these people's minds? Now he's dead. What was the play there? And look at where my Brandenburg is. My Brandenburg's are going full ham yeah, into the cap the from the other side. I need to wait and see these little turds. But thank God our, our destroyer decided to lay a smoke screen for him. Which is why I'm not pulling the trigger because that little fucking turtle sit in that smoke screen and burn the shit out of me. I'm spotted. Okay. Come on and fire your guns, you little turd waffle. Well, you're not the turd waffle I was referring to, but I'll take it. I was gonna say, there's no chance those fucking reach. Where did the Brandenburg go? Is he still alive? Yeah, he turned into Bravo, apparently. So he did a full 180. So I am now stuck over here with an Otago that I blapped but couldn't kill, and an Iowa who just got God roll accuracy on my superstructure. But we blapped him back, so we're roughly similar. Fuck, of course they get spotted right as I can't fucking shoot them. I think the Otago went to the other side of the island to stay away from me, so it should just be me and this Iowa going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. So we're going to try come around the corner and blap this man. And that'll allow us to blap the Otago if we get a chance. This guy's losing all of his health, though. This cruiser is tearing him a new one. The enemy team he must be like double lead. or triple fired or something because this guy is just losing health. Like He's dead. He's legitimately dead. This guy's got fires burning everywhere. Fucking Ojakob life, man. Literally just took all of the health off of an Iowa in what? A minute and a half? A minute and a half to take all the health from that Iowa? And now we look like we're completely out of place because we actually played like a fucking person that's anticipating a fight and we're the only one here so I guess I'll push up and try to get into a position to help against this Otago grab the cap and then we can move out and try to help the other side any chance you bring back story time uh, I don't know like I, I, I don't live out in the middle of nowhere anymore so I don't do a lot of those kinds of walks unfortunately there's the mines that we slapped early in the fight. Oh, the moment we fire our guns, the little turd burglar gets spotted. You can't make that up. At least it was a good shot, but damn. Like, what are the odds? Enemy battleship sighted. Anticipating him turning back, he does. It's the terrible fucking dispersion, literally the worst. Still got two hits on him, left him alive, of course, because we're not allowed to finish him. He's not gonna fire his guns. We're losing the fight. I need to get into this cap. This guy's trying to use the island for cover. We got Kansas kind of being a pain in my ass over there, potentially. 
If we can get into this, we can stop them from accruing points, but that Kansas is going to be a problem for me, potentially. All right, here it comes. Here it fucking comes. Knew it. Hope it doesn't fucking do what it could do. Fuck me. I knew it. I tried turning away as hard as I could fucking turn. What do I get? I get fucking Kerblastered. And then he goes dark, because I don't have any teammates. Lord have mercy, I cannot fucking possibly get fucked over every goddamn game, right? Like, dude hits fucking citadels while I'm turning away, which is supposed to drop the fucking citadel in the water. But gets the best fucking RNG of his existence. And then goes dark. Take that shot. They managed to kill- oh my god, this little turd's gonna fuck me up. I love that the champagne shot over the top of a guy that he could easily kill just to try to shoot me. Like, legitimately shot over the top of a guy that he could kill just to try to shoot me. Damn near went dark while firing his guns. And all my shells missed. Alright, bounce off the island, please. Now Kansas took himself out of the fight for whatever reason, so that's good. We just need to try to get some good hits into the champagne. Thank God the dead people's fucking planes are still spotting me. It's my favorite thing in the world. Oh my God, New Jersey, please. Please. For fuck's sake, is he gonna eat the torps? He eats one. Is that a flood? It looks like it might be a flood. He's, nope, he's just DC'd. Okay. Come on, cruiser. Stay alive, man. He gets that. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. I'm changing course. He manages to hit every shell into my superstructure. And mine hits his guns. Because I'm not allowed to actually, like, hit his superstructure, right? Ends in five minutes. Checks out. We've got the lead in points. Just get fucking back. Retreat now. Just get back. Like, why are you even thinking about going forward and fighting a fucking Kansas? Just get back. Retreat now. Because if this comes down to it, it's going to be me versus a fucking Kansas, and the Kansas is going to win that fight. I don't have any health. This guy needs to just fucking back off. There it goes. Takes another chunk. Resets the cap. We're gonna get this cap. Get some chip shots over the top of the fucking island while we can. This guy needs to just run, dude. There is no reason for him to put himself in danger right here. None. No reason whatsoever for him to put himself in any danger. And yet he is just continuously doing it. I'm just going to back around the edge of this goddamn island because we have the points lead and the only way we lose it is if he kills us. I didn't even realize we had another fucking cruiser out there that's full health. Kansas turned away. Fucking Wichita is full health. I thought it was just me and this guy. Like, I was like, dude, it's gonna get fucking murdered. This is gonna be GG. Our team has taken the lead. Oh, you gotta love it. What up, Ebai? How's it going? 
Zach, good to see you. Eclipse as well. Tyler. If I can get behind this island, I can be in position to shoot the guy if they get him spotted. Because I have a feeling they're just itching for a fucking fight. For whatever reason. Hey, he's just outside my range. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. I like that he goes forward. Like, he goes from reverse to forward because he's a... He gets the Kraken, too. That's why he was trying so hard. I guarantee it. He was he was itching for the Kraken, so he was trying so hard to kill that guy. I didn't even realize. 4,000 base XP is a hell of a fucking game, dude. Hell of a game. But Krakens aren't worth it. You could easily have lost that match. For what? For what? A Kraken. 4K base. It's a hell of a game, but don't recommend it. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a fucking Kansas in a cruiser is a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Alright, I know somebody asked for a linen. Let's give it to him. Oh yeah, I get a dreadnought like every battle. Like literally every battle. Scott, how's it going? Yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome to have a teammate that does 4K base. I don't think I've ever seen a teammate do 4K base on my team. Unless it was like a division with A-Ron or something. That would be about the only time. <clears throat> I've seen plenty of 3K base, but never 4K. I've gotten a 4K base once in a battleship. It was a Tirpitz of all things. Jeffrey, how's it going? Yeah, Dreadnought is literally easy. It just means you're getting shot during a battle. Especially in a battleship. What up, Mr. Musta? Appreciate you dropping in, man. Have a good night. Yeah, we'll get we'll get to all the ships. You guys know that. You guys know I play up pretty much a little bit of everything. I'm trying to avoid legendary tier at all costs, because fucking Shima Apocalypse, Shima and Yami. It's about all you see anymore, fucking legendary tier. What up, Nukta? Good to see you. Yonkonomics, appreciate you dropping in. Did I miss it? Ah! Yonkonomics coming in re-upping his membership for 10 months. Appreciate you, my dude. Get some goats in the chat for Yonk. Sorry, man. I didn't see it. Our destroyer opens up, drops torpedoes. What is it? Elbing. What is the range of an Elbing's torpedoes? Isn't it like 8 kilometers for Germans, usually? Like, his, his torpedoes are going to get to, like, maybe that island before they disappear, right? Thirteen and a half? Good lord. Why? Why does it get fucking special torpedoes? Oh, look. Hello? You may be the all-father. But I'm the godfather. Oh my god, that's the best salvo I'm going to get today out of this thing. One shell got the fire. We just slapped the piss out of that Alabama. He just slapped us right back because, you know, reasons. I was spamming HE without any camo. Double fired. 
Thank God we got all the fucking cruisers on my side, huh? Got all the battleships, all the cruisers. And I'm the only fucking person any of them could see because... Chicago's hiding behind an island. Elbing's hiding behind an island. Dude. Over the top of like three goddamn mountain chains. You gotta be shitting me. This fucking Alabama keeps fucking around. I'm gonna let him find out again. Good hit into the superstructure. What the hell do they have? Suja? It's the fucking Sujas. Got it. Say no more. No chance. Yeah, go fucking run away, you little turd. Hello, Yugamo. you? Two overbends. Got it. Uh, we got an Elbing, we got a fucking Otago, and none of them are, well, the Elbing's at least capturing a base, but I know there's an Odin over here. We gotta be ready to deal with that. Speaking of, Assuming our Elbing is in a fucking smoke screen currently. Oh, that's a bold strategy. Not even a Citadel. Not even a Citadel. The game is like, nope, sorry. I'm just gonna let him get away with going full broadside to you. And then I'm gonna give him a one one shell fucking fire. Odin is trying to accomplish. I thought he was going to try to YOLO rush me, but now he's just kind of sitting there. Let's see if we can't slap his superstructure and finish him off here. Question mark? How is he not detected? He must have reversed around the corner, but it's weird. Okay, well, going forward, I guess. Hmm. Yes, you do. Down goes our Otago, of course. Yeah, he got all the way around the corner without being detected. We got their Alabama trying to be a little turd burglar out there. Again, love that their fucking plane can just fly over the top of that fucking island and keep me spotted. Let's see if we can come around the corner and slap this dude in the mouth. We're just gonna stay bowing to me, right? Look at that dispersion. That'll just make you cry. One shell does damage. The other one pins his gun or some shit. Can't shoot down a goddamn fucking 
plane. Our Elbing's dead now. Surprise. sunshine oh my god you got him and of course of course of course he would get a or get a fire there right that's how that works I know the Odin's gonna try to push me from behind so superstructure and guns Oh, it's Ernie again! Who could have fucking seen that coming? Two of my guns and a single salvo again. The Odin's low health. I was hoping to take out the Kuchizov as well, but the Odin's low health. Again, it must be nice to be able to knock out multiple guns in a single salvo, because that never fucking happens for me. Ever. I knock out one. If I'm aiming directly at them, I may knock out one. But hopefully these... Uh, this guy has no fucking health. And a hipper, of course. He's about to get finished. There it is. Jesus. Teammates, am I right? They're very good. They're very good. Alright. Let's go... Go to top tier. Play a little bit of top tier sadness. What up, Pop58? How's it going? Carter, how's it going? Is it Jaja -Ja Panda or is it Yaya? -Ya? I'm going to go with Yaya. -Ya. What up? Dylan, good to see you. All right, what we got? How many Shimas? Oh, oh my God. There's only one and it ain't even a Shima. There's only one Yami, but there's three Awamis. Fuck, yes, let's go. Holy crap. I quit after this. This is it. Like, this is this is the best. This is the epitome of legendary tier after this. There will be no more legendary tier tonight. <laughs> like, what is this? What have I done? Have I suffered enough that the game is just, like, starting to take it easy on me? These are the questions that nobody asked. But I desperately need to know. Okay, we have two cruisers behind us, which means we're going to have to be the spotter, most likely. I mean, that's a Yoshino. The, oh my god, it's a, it's Gherkin! Running into everybody tonight. Jay is in juice. I got you. So it is Jaja. Jaja Panda. Oh god, you, you torped in front, knowing that I'm about to go in front of you? I hope they get there. I'm not trying to cock block you, but you knew I was going here. Also, thank God for... Oh, Lord have mercy. That's the Yami, isn't it? I'm just gonna say it. Of course. They've got one fucking destroyer, and he's gotta be right here. One motherfucking destroyer. He's gotta be on my side of the map. Why can I not just have nice things? Why can I not just have nice things? Why am I not turning? Other questions. Oh my god, the Conqueror's coming over here too. Well, this could be a short battle because that's AP. And that is, in fact, the Yami. So I got the Destroyer. I got their Conqueror from the middle coming my way. And their fucking Yami. And that's a Torp coming right up Main Street. 
What the hell is my fucking RNG tonight? I don't care. At this point, I'm just gonna fucking yeet myself. I don't have any luck in this game tonight, man. Look at him. I got fucking Des Moines shooting from the middle of the goddamn map trying to shoot me. What are the odds that I literally get everything that can possibly fuck me on one side of the goddamn map? Like, literally, everything that could possibly fuck me is on one side of the goddamn map. You can't make that shit up. That's just really unfortunate. I just fired my guns at the Des Moines, so hopefully our fucking cruisers can fuck that guy up. Of course, I get an overpin. Didn't lead him enough. Imagine just fucking running around in your fucking destroyer, just open water, don't give a fuck, two cruisers that are fully capable of dev striking your ass right here. Like, they are fully capable of dev striking him from full health. All they gotta do is hit him. Down goes their conqueror. Our team has taken the lead. Decent hit. Remember, I'm the one that lost all my health at the beginning. I will survive this shit and fucking ruin the enemy. Because that's what I do. Like, people, people underestimate the shit out of me when I'm hurt. They will do all kinds of stupid shit. Just trying to fucking make some heroic play and get ruined. Really hoping this Yami's dumb enough to come around the corner right now. I've got enough health that I can easily eat a fucking shell from them. The problem is they, they see me because they have a destroyer here. We don't. I have two fucking cruisers that are like super cruisers that can't do shit. Let's flip the guns to the right. This guy's definitely coming around. He's feeling froggy, boys. He's feeling real froggy. I need six citadels to kill him. Five, I don't think, will be enough. So I need God-tier RNG, and I need this dummy to come around this corner. Oh, no. What are you, what, where are those coming from? That would have been tragic. Come on around the corner, Kev. I got something you can Hulko. Also, Lurkin just fucking... He's going to haul ham in there. And there goes all of his fucking hit points. God dang it, man. I... <laughs> One shell. Down goes Lurkin. Uh, I was baiting the guy in. Had the opportunity. And, uh... Lurkin kind of just like pulls him right back. Can't knock his gun, right? Only one shell managed to hit him. Yami do what Yami do, which is just go straight through bow, but he fucked it up. Wami gets a bullshit fucking pin for 4,600. And there's the Des Moines coming over to fucking say hello. We can't catch him off guard. Oh my god, he just stops. He just fucking stops, man. These people are fucking useless to their team. They wonder why they lose. Like, these guys have run away from their spawn just to come over and try to have a chance to fucking kill me. And they're just 
getting torn up from behind. One pin. This has been a fucking terrible game. Like, no fucking joke. This has been a fucking terrible game. Down goes that one. Sad part is, like I said, that fucking Yami would have come around the corner if it wasn't for lurking yellow in him like that. Like, I, I guarantee it. Like, he was creeping. He wanted it. He wanted to come around that fucking corner. But then, uh... Lurkin kind of offered himself up, and you're not gonna de you're not gonna dev strike a Yami with a super cruiser. Like, it's not gonna happen very often. Like, you need all the citadels. The ship is on fire. Look at this little fucking sweat back here. Like, what are you gonna do to your team? Like you you've lost. You've lost the game, Des Moines. You know this. Dude is sweating hard, and he has no- and there's the double fire. Like, you can't make it up. The ship is on fire. You can't make it up, folks. But dude is sweating hard. He's trying to do nothing. He succeeded, too. Good news is, this guy's gonna give me the fucking angle to murder him. Alright. Then there was two. And they have no chance to win. But you killed me. Well done. Good loss. It only took you guys the entire game and throwing your entire team at me, but you killed me. Good job. Now you lose the match. Well done. Keep taking your fucking radar cruisers with all the DPM and utility in the world and running to the back corner of the map. When will people learn how to play? Like, when, when are they actually going to play to win the game rather than playing to, like get damage or anything like that. Right, when will people learn to play the game? Will it ever happen? I don't know. That's all good, Gherkin. Like I said, like I'm fairly confident if you'd have just been a little bit more patient there, that Yami was about to come around the corner on me and I would have been able to remove him. That would have saved you. Um, but I get it. I get it, man. It's pretty hard to pass up a big hit on a Yami. Like, you know that you're going to yeet him. But, but yeah, you're not likely to dev strike him faster than he can kill you. Like, even Alaska. Like, the best shot I've ever gotten on a Yami with an Alaska, I got uh, 70, I want to say it was 76k in one shot. So I was able to kill him in two salvos. But, yeah, it was, it was one of those, like, it was like perfect scenario too. Right through the butt cheek. You love to see it, like, all the best possible. But, yeah, it's just one of those, like, I think if you'd have been just a teensy bit more more patient there, that guy would have rolled around the corner, I would have removed him, and then you'd have been free to, free to run amok, amok. Run amok! But it's all good. Like I said, we literally got countered as hard as the game could counter us there. It was me and two Yoshinos versus their Yami, their Des Moines, their Conqueror, uh, an Awami, and the fucking destroyer. Like, they literally had everything that they could possibly counter us with right there. And they fucked it all away. Because they didn't play to their advantage. <laughs> they just completely shit it away. So, that's a dubski. GG's. <laughs> hey, I know what it's like, man. I do. I, I see the same thing. I'm like, man, I could I could yellow around the corner, but then I was looking at the fucking Des Moines and shit, and I'm like, Yami, I can eat a shot from the Yami. I know that. And then once I eat the shot, I get around b beside him, and he's dead. Like, it's guaranteed. But, but at the same time, I'm like, all right, what else can we do after that? Like, once I do that, I'm just dead at that point. But... But it's all good. That's why I was trying to force him to come to me, because then I could get him to come around the corner, still kill him, and then uh, we'd have a better chance of countering the Awami and the, the Des Moines afterwards. But it's not like you did bad. Like, we did what we had to do on our side. We held him for literally the entire match. And I lost three quarters of my health at the beginning, and I survived until the very end of the match. So, so it's, it's all good. What up, Harsh? Good to see you. Uh, of course, we're spotted. Three destroyers. Tier 6? Yep, Tier 6. 
Fubuki Fubuki Shirat, all Japanese destroyers. I made some honey chicken tonight for, for dinner, and I kind of didn't quite keep it stirred quick enough. Ended up burning some of it, so it wasn't as good as it could have been. It was pretty good, but it, it still had a little bit of a funk to it from burning a little bit of the, uh, the sauce. Oof, that was a good start. Set a smoke screen. Uh, I've only got a Fabuki. What are the odds that this Fabuki is actually useful? It doesn't appear to be going to be a screen. thing. A dude is just like turning and running screen. at the first fucking opportunity. Set a smoke Setting a smoke screen for a battleship for reasons unknown to mankind. So I don't hold a lot of high hopes for this guy, is what I'm saying. Okay, Fubuki number one. It's right there. If I can get turned back, I can get a salvo. Set a smoke screen. Shot out. Looks good. Looks real good, actually. Okay, got three pins. We'll take it. That's a Fubuki, so it's a Fubuki and a Shirat that's left that I don't know where they're at. One's on the far side, so it's only a single destroyer here. A Leander does not scare me even in the slightest. Whatever the battleship behind it is, I think it's the, the fucking Sharnhorst. So we do have to be a little bit careful. Let's see if we can catch this Leander slip in here. Okay, we're spotted, but they're not. Will he fire his guns, or will he die? I know there's another destroyer over here. And it worries me. Yeah, I got your support. Just don't be an idiot. Okay, actually, the destroyer isn't here. Good to know. that little turd, because I don't have a shot at this guy. Oh my god, we're just not allowed to kill them. We can do all the damage, we just can't kill them. It's in the rule book. I was say, I know there's shard horses here somewhere. It's good to see him. He's, he's a threat. The fact that I have a destroyer right next to me, if he just wanted to, he could annihilate these guys. They are begging for it right now. Huge hit on the Sharn Horse superstructure. We'll take that. Spotted by the fucking plane, of all things. The enemy team, the has, enemy taken team the has taken the lead. Who'd uh, have seen that coming? This guy's staying right where I can't shoot him. And I know the shard horse is pushing me. Or at least thinking about it. But you can see where that guy's staying. Like, dude's doing a pretty good job of keeping me from being able to shoot him. Nice kill. Oh no. Spartan, don't do it. Don't potato like this. Let's get this thing turned around. You're being rushed. It's not that big a deal. Single fucking shell from HE. The ship is on fire. Shoot my belt. I don't care. Never mind. I, I do care. Apparently. Critically damaged. Apparently he's gonna go through that. And we're gonna get shitty fucking RNG. I don't know what the range is on that fucking Leander, but you'd think he'd be out of it by now. I've got a good look. Six seconds. I get loaded.
battleship sunk. Let's go ahead and turn in hard. I know this Tennessee might be able to blap me here, but I'm taking the chance. Because I would like to get heading in the right direction again. Turn the shot at that little turd waffle. Okay, this guy's not actually looking at me. Oh my god, this guy's a goat. He's a fucking legend. He's a fucking... How did he plan that? Like, I turned in as soon as I could to avoid the torpedoes. That man fucking planned that perfectly. You can't make that shit up. Also, bow side plating? No, belt. Okay. That's the kind of player that I expected. Okay. It's all good. What you got for me, Mr. Uh, Tennessee? All forces protect the base. Yeah, get back and defend the base. This guy could potentially ram me, which would be a fucking tragedy. Just defend the cap! Attention, all forces defend the They're base. They're in the base, my dude. Okay, that was his front gun, so we gotta worry about his rear. Oh my god, we didn't get a single fucking citadel. I think we aimed too far forward. He slowed down, I think. Let's turn away. Drops the Citadel, try to get angled. Okay, front guns just fired, so we're good. Somebody just clapped him. I think we aimed too far forward. We got a bunch of overpins. He shot my superstructure. He's burning to death. Get some fire on his dying breath. Dude, the fact that our destroyer destroy is still not in the base. This guy's been capping this base this whole time, dude. Like, what part of go defend the cap do you not understand? Like, I didn't need your help against the fucking battleship, my dude. I needed you in the base. At least we're contesting it. One of our battleships is in the cap. But that's not a winning situation for a battleship, usually. Solved, sir. We'll find the little turd burglar. We'll help you fucking take him out. And then we can focus the rest of the enemy team down. I'm spotted, so he's within... Yeah, he's torping me. Of course he is. He left the cap. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Shell. Dude, if we lose our Fabuki here, we're kind of fucked. Come on, Arizona, hit the target. Oh my god! What is that? Now he's gonna bounce off the goddamn border. God knows where he's gonna fucking end up. Look at that shit. Isn't that so fucking dumb? That is such a dumb fucking thing. It's like, oh, he's doing 70 fucking knots. He hits the border and he just fucking teleports that ship sideways like there's no fucking water whatsoever. Like, the physics are so dumb. That was our last fucking destroyer. The sad part is he gets to fucking run around do whatever the fuck he wants again you gotta you gotta play better man as a destroyer like i know it's low tier but come on dude like that guy didn't do crap the only thing he did right the entire game was he ended up fucking spotting and getting rid of the the destroyer in the middle like that is literally it everything else that man just completely like f kerfuffled Oh, great. A still a full health motherfucking North Carolina. You've got to be shitting me. How the hell is he full health? And he's in the perfect place to crossfire me, too. 
Like, I don't mind going to fight a fucking uh, Fuso here, but that, that North Carolina is going to fuck me up from this angle. Torpedoes astern. Oh, no. And now I'm turning back into the torpedoes. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like he has the range. So there's at least that. Pray to God that the guy doesn't shoot me. No, he definitely shot me. Now we overmatch Emma Ray. <sighs> Come on, Arizona, turn, baby. Literally hits both shells. God dang, full health, god dang, North Carolina. What does my team even do in this game? Like, how? How is there a full health North Carolina from the other side of the map? And why are these guys, like... I don't, I don't have any words. Just get me out of here. Move, move on. Move on. Let's play the Mutsu. Somebody asked for the Mutsu earlier. Let's do it. I don't have any words. What up, Dylan? Chasson, good to see you. Torch. Brian, how's it going? Silent, how's it going? Three DDs, top tier, they got a Yuga. Could be fun. Jonathan, you're a little down today? Sorry to hear that, man. What up, Jash? It's the way it goes, man. Now why the hell do I have HE loading? Don't do that. That'll make me rage even harder. Have a good night, Revanth. Appreciate you. See what we can do. Of course, our destroyer is literally sailing straight behind the island to make sure that he can absolutely spot absolutely nothing. Again, I don't understand the thought process. Like, I really don't. Like, I know not going all the way out in here because you're likely to get torped at higher tiers, but this is tier 5. There's very few people that that uh, are going to hit you with torps in there. Aim high, because he's probably going to turn out. Overpins, only hit two shells. I swear to God, he just did more damage with HE from a light cruiser than I get shooting AP at him. Which makes perfect sense, right? That's how that's supposed to work. I don't remember what our range is. Oh, they're only seven. That's not going to do much. Not gonna do much, I'm afraid. You got it. What the fuck is shooting from where? If only I had a spotter on my team that I could actually see some motherfuckers. A right, dude literally parked himself on the goddamn island in the cap and then just sat there, couldn't spot shit. The other destroyer's going behind the island to where he can't spot shit. Like, what the hell, man? Meanwhile, everybody in the fucking lobby can see my ass. And they're getting free shots because I got no spotting. 
At least give me a chance to trade with the motherfucker. Oh look, he's coming back for round number two. Will he get lucky twice? You're playing with RNG when you play with the fucking Mutsu. Just saying. Hello, sunshine. Only one. We hit two shells again, but one of them was a Citadel. Iron Duke, AG spam. Typical. Doesn't understand that he has really good AP. I just damaged Khan a single fire like a dipshit. I deserve to get absolutely annihilated with fires at this point. Let's go ahead and show him what AP sounds like. Or feels like. That could have been better. Not gonna lie. Is he gonna double or triple fire me? If he triple fires me, I'd appreciate it. Kirov got torped to death. He knocked out one of my torque tubes. from the Iron Duke. Wait for it! Gets away with it. Like, if this Iron Duke would actually load AP, he could, he could fucking death strike me here. But, you know, that would, that would require him to, like, utilize more than two brain cells. Yuga is going to be a potential issue, so prepare. Destroyer versus Iron Duke, point blank. Iron Duke's been shooting HE this entire time, so I expect a dev strike in the near future. One way or the other, somebody's getting dev struck. Look like it's stung, sunshine. Mm, Iron Duke's alive. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Do you still have your... Oh, you've definitely got a reload booster, for sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Think about it. Think about it. You gonna use it? Oh, he's not looking. He's not looking. You're looking the wrong way, sunshine. He's gonna blap that fucking destroyer, though. Goodbye, destroyer. Did the destroyer get the torps on him? Question mark? Fuck yeah. GG's. Fuck yeah, he did. Well, this was a game that existed. It was a thing that happened. Aaron Ball, how's it going? Space Rider, good to see you. Crispy cream truck just drove by. Ah, donuts are overrated. Donuts are overrated. Unless they're, like, fresh donuts. Like, you just straight up pulled it out the oven, then maybe. What up, Drippy? How's it going? I think we'll save that uh, for later. You never know could get a sweaty game all of a sudden so might as well hold on to it <sighs> what do they got left Tennessee Cali Hatsu pod pods not scary at all Cali over the islands Cali could be a problem for me because these World War one shells don't like to do much to a Cali Especially if it doesn't even hit him. Oh, there they are. Callie's thick. 
What are the odds that this destroyer just yellows in and gets himself spotted and killed by the galley? Also, once again, sailing straight behind the island. Instead of using, like, a little bit of edge to try to find and locate. Yuga Queen. That looks like a ramming attempt. Maybe a drive-by. Definitely a drive-by. He's got a torpedo boat right in front of him as well. Where is this Cali going? Why are you running? Come back! Plunging fire. It's a thing. The fact that this Cali is actually going fast enough to just stay enough ahead of me here. I honestly didn't think that he would be running that direction of all places. Down goes our Yuga. Their, their battleship survives. I'm telling you, this could get sweaty. And I can see our fucking Hatsuharu getting himself killed here. Like, I, I legitimately can see him just yellowing out, getting himself spotted and killed by the, the Kali. So, like, this game ain't over. Can't see our teammate to see how much health he's got. That looks pretty good. Or not. Where is he going? That's the question. Like, the, the guy is spotted in the middle of the cap. This guy is, like, actively going as far away as possible. Trying to take himself out of a potential angle. Like, he... I don't know. He's literally shooting right up the backside of that, that battleship. And again, I can't see to actually help out whatsoever. So I don't... I'm hoping that our guy wins at least one of those guys. We have the, the caps. We have the points. Okay, Tennessee goes down. That's big. That leaves the Cali. And again, I, I don't know why the Cali took that path of all places. Like, he just, like, straight up ran away. Now goes the uh, Queen to the Hatsu. We still have a 300-point lead, and our destroyer is putting himself unnecessarily in danger. What a fun game we're having. Are you not entertained? Now the destroyer's trying to capture the base. Interesting strategy. We're getting some pretty good accuracy, I'll be honest. Having this many shells hit the target at this range from a Mutsu, that's impressive. Look at him, he's going broadside, he wants it! Oh, I disappeared. Yeah, I hate to see that. Hello, sunshine. That might sting a bit. Honestly, could have been better. Could have been better. We're getting some good accuracy, though. I can't complain. Two and a half minutes. We're up by 490 points. It's more what I expect. Now, I would expect their, yo their destroyer to yellow me. That would be the smart play. 
But he's gonna have a hard time killing me in a single salvo of torpedoes, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Their destroyer has found our destroyer. That's gonna end in my destroyer's immediate removal from the game, and this got a little bit more exciting. I say a little bit because it's really not anything too exciting. Unless, of course, I get dev struck by this fucking tally right now. Which is a real possibility. Ooh. I'll be honest, I didn't see that coming. He snuck one torpedo by all those islands, and it landed. Alright, I give you credit. I give you credit where credit's due. We're angled. It's getting a little bit more spicy than I was expecting. Hopefully that finishes that little turd off. He gets the fire. Are you kidding me? That's... The worst thing that could have happened actually eating that one minute one minute gotta not take too much damage here from the cali wait what did we win on points is that what happened? Oh, okay, maximum points. I was gonna say, like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> okay. Like, that was, that was spicy. Like I said, all that destroyer had to do was nothing, and we would have been fine. All he had to do was keep himself from getting spotted, and he managed to put himself right in a position where he could get spotted and killed. And then we almost fucked it up, too. I'll be honest, I did not expect him to get a torpedo through those gaps. He got one torpedo through the gap between the islands, and it was a ringer. Dead fucking ringer. You love to see it. And then the immediate fire. Like, he hit me with, like, two shells of HE from a destroyer. It gets immediate fire, too. You gotta love it. What up, Panic? How's it going? Would I play Amagi? I already did, Dylan. I already played the Amagi tonight. I uh, played the Hood in the first game as well. Didn't go to plan, but that's because we kind of got, like, yellowed by two destroyers and a... A battleship and a carrier. But we took out two of their destroyers. And a battleship. Got a double strike. Before we went down. Top tier. Arc Royal. Motherfucker. God dang it. What are the odds? What are the odds that that little turd comes for me? Surely not, right? Surely not. Did you get a solo warrior? I've gotten solo warriors, yes. I've got two or three of them. I just got one the other night when I joined Yonkonomics on his uh, arena stream the other night. I got one. What up, Mookie? How's it going? Uh, Lances, what'd you say? You s you using HE? Uh, I was I loaded HE because I thought maybe the destroyer would come around the corner and yellow me, and I wanted to have a better chance of potentially killing him. So in that situation, yes, I used HE. It's Japanese HE. It's got better penetration than American HE, so it's not as likely to just fucking break modules. It's going to do some serious damage. Um, but, yeah. Enemy force detected. Ooh, did I get the shot out before he disappeared? These are the questions. That uh, looks good. We'll take it. Fair enough. He gets a full pin. I get a fire. And now the, I, I just fucking damage con and there's a goddamn arc royal about to come over top of me. That's fucking tragic. I didn't see the planes. Didn't see the planes. Fortunately, it seems like he's going to go destroy my fucking destroyer. Oh, he failed his drop. Get our AA over here, see if we can help him. Of course, of all the places that that goddamn carrier could be, he's got to be right here. 
At least we're helping our guy potentially shoot these little turds down. Look at that fucking damage, dude. That wasn't even a good drop. That was literally like the worst angle he could have taken for that drop. And he still gets the... And then we got two of the destroyers here, too. So two of the three destroyers, plus the carrier, plus all of their battleships on our side of the map. Yep, this is going to be a good match. We're going to have to fight our asses off here. Now, the Congo's firing HE, at least he was the last time, so we've got that going for us. There is a Fuso here, though, that we got to be careful about. Go ahead and punch the Congo. I hope he's still shooting HE. He is. Good. Ah! What is that, Queen? Oh my god, the Fuso. That's what I was just talking about. The Fuso just got the fucking salvo of a lifetime. Just got the salvo of a god dang lifetime. Enemy battleship detected. Is he gonna beach? I feel like he's gonna beach. Just go through the bow of this little turd burglar. Or we'll just not hit him. It's the most inaccurate fucking opening I've ever had in this ship. And then he loaded AP. Well, that's a good thing that I'm angling. That sounded horrific. At least he's not picking on us at the moment. I'm on. Hit the fucking target, queen. Dude, what is our accuracy in this match? Oh, for fuck's sake. Visby. I don't even know what the fucking range of his torps are or anything. I don't know anything about those fucking things. I'm just assuming if he's getting spotted and he has fucking range for torps, so I'm just gonna turn out. Get rid of this little fuck. That looks a little better. There we go. Got torps heading in the right direction. Looks like they might hit one. I'm not gonna get a shot off before this guy gets behind the island. They're getting the turrets. I mean, our destroyer could literally open fire on this guy from his smoke screen and kill this fucking battleship right now. Like that is the thing that you are fully capable of doing, destroyer. You have smoke. You have the ability to use your guns. Good job. Well, that was fucking torpedoes. I lied. Not good job. You killed him, but use your guns. I would really like the front turrets to eventually get over to the other side of the fucking ship at some point in this century. Is that a possibility? You think you can make that happen for me? Get those guns around, for God's sakes. Pedal faster, motherfuckers. Turn. Use the little cranks. Whatever you gotta do. Make those fucking turrets rotate, god dang it. Kinda need those guns. I swear to god, I got a fucking... gerbil up in my shit in a fucking rotating wheel with a carrot out in front of him. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Ah, yeah, you take my turret, I take yours. That's how this works. Trade. At least I've got his attention. As long as he shoots me, he's leaving my other guy alone. Oh, look! The Yuga fucking shot him. Isn't that nice? All right, we got two destroyers up close and personal, potentially. Let's go ahead and load up the HE, potentially get ready to remove them. The carrier fucked off, so at least that's some good news for us. Let's get this thing turned around and start looking in the right direction. Look into my eyes. Show me the enemy. Ah, there it is. That's the death of my fucking destroyer if I don't make this count. 
Saw him turning in. Did I adjust it quick enough? I did not. The fucking game still had locks on over there. So that's the shitty part about this game's fucking aiming system, man. It tries to help you, but it ends up fucking you so god dang much. Like, you saw where I aimed, and you saw where the shells went, because he was last going in that direction. So the game is trying to lead him while I'm trying to shoot the other direction and getting fucked out of it. That's all it is. That should be the end of the Farragut. Or not. Okay, he kills that one. It's one down. Still got the Visby though. Visby's in range to still be spotted. We got a fucking spotter plane. So Visby's gonna fucking run. Alright, switching over to AP to get ready to deal with the Fuso. Use one more heal. We got another one left. On the enemy race mixture. Is that supposed to be like racing fuel? Or is that like your actual race mix? Like what? what is that? Most accurate salvo ever. Look at that. Every fucking shell. Every shell, despite me turning in as hard as I can fucking turn in, hits my superstructure. Every one of them. No, we overmatch, so we'll go ahead and try that. And my shells go exactly where they have to to do no damage. Like, I'm aiming towards the bow of the ship, and I'm hitting all the way in the fucking superstructure somehow. He's not going that fast. I know the Visby's still here, and I wish I had spotting, but... Unfortunately, we don't. How did he just do that much damage in that shot? Please. Explain that. Explain how he just got 10,000 damage through the bow of my ship with 14 inch guns. Torpedoes direct front. Guy's got the RNG of the fucking gods on his side. You know who doesn't have the RNG of the gods? This fucking Visby, apparently. Go ahead and fucking bullshit. Alright. Fuso, you and I are gonna duel, you just don't know it yet. Breaks my turret, of course. This guy's got RNG of the fucking gods! I've said it three times now. This guy legitimately has all of the RNG. Somehow gets a bullshit citadel through my bow. Then he manages to break my fucking gun. And then he survives that! Despite the fact that I have the overmatch, he survives that. And then I break his gun. I literally shoot the goddamn waterline and somehow shot his turret. And then this little fucking turd waffle gets a fucking fire on that. Good night, sunshine. Get the fuck out of here. I've had enough of your bullshit. Had enough! Our team has taken the lead. Torpedoes to starboard. Now we die again to fires, because... The good news is, this guy didn't have to get shot. I mean, that's good news. Wouldn't want him to try to trade some fucking hit points at some point. He's just taking advantage of everybody shooting me. I don't think we survived this. I think we actually died to this horseshit. That's the downside. Ten seconds. We're gonna die right as we get our fucking shit. Or this carrier is gonna come in and kill me. Dude flies all the way across the fucking map just to come kill me. Of course he does. 
He's got people in his god dang spawn, but he wants to come all the way over to kill me. 111 hit points I survived that bullshit with just to get fucked over by a fucking stupid ass Ark Royal. Drops a million fucking bombs that do a gajillion damage. Like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? There's nothing you can do. Literally nothing you can do about that. Oh, God. What do we want to play? Can we play Florida? Or do we go North Carolina? Let's go Florida. Let's go Florida. What up, War Spite? How's it going? Kane, how's it going? What up, Djinn? Not the bomb. Good to see you as well. That's not true. There are people that actually like carriers. And they're all carrier players. That's it. What do we got? Top tier. Colorado, Colorado hood. Caracholo. Those actually were not top tier. There's a fucking Wichita in here for some reason. We get a Mogami. They get a Wichita. That's balance it's mostly a tier six good morning peter only downside is if we go up against the witch dog we don't overmatch him Action stations. 27 millimeter bow 14 inch guns do not go through then again neither do 15 inch guns have a good night torch appreciate you what up samuel how's it going At least this one's not a carrier. I'm in a ship that can shoot shit down. Our New Orleans wants to die. Not sure why. But he really, really wants to die. He's going to go in front of the island broadside. You know full well that they spawn right here. There's no destroyer, so he's probably not going to get spotted. So he might get away with it initially. There's no carrier either. Honestly, after the game that we had at the end of the last stream with the Florida, I should probably retire this thing. I'm not going to get a better game than that. Dylan, I am almost positive at some point they will add submarines to the game. I'm almost positive. Because they said at the beginning of the game they were not going to add carriers. And they added carriers. Relatively quickly at that. So, yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay, he's opened up a little bit too much. To lens here, too. Good hit. We'll take that. I don't know what the range is on the torps of a Talin. I'm going to assume they're eight. Hello, sunshine. Oh my god, that was so sad. Like, that was so sad. But of course, this fucker over here is shooting me. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? Well, I know who I'll be shooting with my next shot. And there's... This guy named V1 Spider, who's just fucking begging for it. We didn't actually run into that guy, so we'll take that. Be a decent lead. Only a double citadel. He, he lives for now. Kind of worried about a York rushing me, to be honest. Not too worried about the rest of it, but if the York decides to yellow, I can't really kill him faster than he can kill me. And somehow my New Orleans is dead already. Who could have fucking seen that coming? Yeah, 
And of course, I can't kill their New Orleans, because that would be mean. That would just be rude. Not allowed to do that. Okay, New Orleans goes down, but not before getting another salvo of HE away. Don't know what this Colorado's doing, but I'll take that. I want this hood to get complacent. I want Torpedoes, him to think that I'm going for this other guy. And then go full broadside to me so I can open up and slap him. Okay, Colorado's backing off. Shitty shot. All those fell short. Okay, he's backing off. We've got Talin just fucking begging for it. You can't ask for much better shots in this game. Come on now. Right, this guy is actually begging for it. Give it to me. I know it's a hipper, but come on. The enemy team has taken the lead. I love that my team's all dead already. These guys are actively trying to, like, sail around full broadside in front of everybody. And my team's the one that are dead already. What does that tell you what they've been doing? Trying to keep my eyes on this fucking Caracciolo. Prince Heinrich is going full dum dum. You never want to go full dum dum. You want to you want to go partial dum dum, preferably. Got no shot there. Hood goes down. Now I'm overmatchable by the fucking Colorado and the Caracciolo, and I've got nobody capturing bases. I got an unknown battleship in the middle of the map. That was a good hit. It was a good hit, guys. Well done. Superstructure finish. Ah, he's just out of fucking reach of my rear turret, man. Thank God he doesn't know how to shoot a fucking Florida. track of the fucking Caracciolo. Again, like, what are these guys doing, man? It's a god dang... It's a god dang fucking domination. And our fucking team doesn't even bother. Like, just... They don't do anything. Like, we can hold against their entire team in a ship that gets overmatched by everything that's there, and yet they can't fucking do anything. They run away from their side. They spend the entire game to run all the way from one side of the map to the other, just to do what? Nothing. That's what they do. <sighs> Ninja coming in, re-upping his membership for four months. Appreciate you, my dude. I did not see that. I don't think. And then Call Me Drippy again, coming in, becoming the newest member on the channel. I don't know if my freaking earpiece went dead or what, but I'm not hearing it. It's showing that it's fine. It's not dead. It's weird. But there's not a whole lot I can do about that, to be honest. Like, we were overmatched by the Hood. We were overmatched by the Colorado. We were overmatched by the Caracciolo. 
Like, the only thing I can do is prolong the inevitable by putting myself where they can't torp me using the fucking York and the, uh, Tallinn. And then just try to focus everybody down as quickly as I can. But our team literally just threw. Like, they, they didn't bother trying. Like, nobody tries to win in this game. They don't. They just run away from their side, spend the entire goddamn game running away just to fucking lose the match. understandable what up alex how's it going what's well, one battleship or battle cruiser that we all want but can only wish for to be added eh. i don't really have any ships that i want that other than vermont vermont would be fun for the memes if it's as good as it is on pc because if it is it's going to be broken on legends just throwing that out there like if it's anywhere near what it is on pc i promise you it'll be my new favorite ship like, if it's got Kansas accuracy with the fucking, uh, 12-gun, 18-inch broadside, you can, you can kiss Montana goodbye. Like, I'll be running Vermont. Harsh is in this one. I need intelligence data. Yank, your Yonks, Yonkonomics is in this one. Boy, there's an awful lot of names in this one. Our destroyer is going out wide. Our carrier's on the other side of the guy. He's the carrier is on my side of the map, and he's flying his planes all the way to the opposite corner of the goddamn map. Why? Why can't he just fly his shit right straight forward, spot the side of the fucking map, so I can see what the fuck I'm up against? One shell. Here comes the torpedoes. Torpedoes dead ahead. Dead ahead. Okay. Got people running the middle. My destroyers smoking up and hiding. As you do. At least he's using his guns while he's doing so. The carrier's definitely not gonna want to sit here and try to kill me, that's for sure, because I will just ruin all of his planes. I've got good AA, and I am an AA-centric sort of build. So, he's not gonna have a good time if he decides to yellow me with his planes over and over again. Problem is, my destroyer is sitting in a fucking smoke train, yeeting at a battleship, while their fucking destroyer is running free of a smoke train, doing whatever the fuck he wants, which is most likely gonna be getting an angle to fucking torp me. Meanwhile, my carrier is not trying to do anything to spot him, despite the fact that the destroyer's, you know, actively in his zone. And there's the torps. What'd I tell you? And it's perfectly fucking right down the pipe. You can't make it up. You can't fucking make it up, folks. Is is this guy still doing anything? Yep, just gonna sit there in a smoke screen and watch. We want you to get involved with your destroyer, would we? Fires his guns while the fucking smoke screen is dissipating. Now he's gonna run away because, you know, his smoke screen's gone, so he's spotted, so now he's gonna try to run rather than go out and spot. I hate this game sometimes, guys. I really do. I think it is brutal to be the only one capable of thinking on your team. Uh, 
one shell go, or one one gun got through. Decent hit. Look at him! Look at him just run away! He lost half his hit points for what? told me I had all the guns ready to go. Enemy battleship destroyed. Uh, we got that in the middle. Got North Carolina and Harsh over here, so I need to push. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to try to push. I'm going to get yeeted by the goddamn destroyer that nobody can fucking do anything with. If we had a goddamn destroyer that was capable of, you know, actually moving out and doing things, it'd be nice, but we don't. So we're gonna try. Slowly losing our guys that went mid, which usually ends up being a counter push once, once they go down. Harsh is just doing like forward reverse tactics at the moment. There's their destroyer, gonna be in our cap. That's Yonkonomics, of course. Of course it is. Our team is taking the lead. I, the McKinson should be able to annihilate him, right? They're all secondary builds, right? It looks like it looks like Yonk's dead. I don't know what happened, but he Fuck that up. Oh, there was a Benson on top of him. That helps. I didn't see the Benson there. I thought the destroyer died. What else we got? Tennessee, McKinson. McKinson doesn't get torps. Right? No. Zeton and the other one gets torps. Ready night, Harsh. Appreciate you. Have a good night. Still don't know what happened to their destroyer. But, at least he's not here fucking with me, so... Returning to ship. I like how it says that I can lob that, and then they hit the island anyway. Like, oh yeah, you can totally lob that! Fucking hits the island. <laughs> Again! Says that I can lob it, I take the shot, and they all fucking go straight into the island. Enemy battleship foundered. Patience. Enemy destroyer sighted. It was in real fucking handy. That guy literally ran all the way across the fucking map. Completely undetectable. And our guys were so afraid to push up because of him. And we didn't have any spotting, so we were one of them. Left him alive, but he's dead. Ugh. <sighs> Now where's their garbage ass carrier hiding? Where are you hiding, carrier? I have an idea, but still would like to know. Notice that our carrier has like just been sitting in the same spot this whole time. 
Oh, it's Lello. I know him. Oh my god, he just got yeeted. That's GG. Horse. <sighs> what a boring fucking match. Battle ends in five minutes. Look at the, the destroyer is still behind me. That's how far out of play this guy has been the entire game. Like, the dude is still behind me. He has just now gotten to the fucking cap. Capable of what, 40 knots or something like 37 knots in a fucking destroyer? Good lord, man. Learn to play a destroyer. Because that's not it. Uh, you'll have that, Yonk. At least you had Destroyer player. My fucking Destroyer was an idiot. What a, what a game. Shocker. The Fubuki was second from the bottom. How our Huga ended up with less than him is beyond me. Gotta love it. Uh, let's pull out the, uh, the meme that is the conch. I mean, the Collingwood. Memes inbound. Try being a destroyer when the reds... Dude, I'll be a destroyer any day of the week. I'm sorry. You're not going to get any fucking sympathy from me. I, I actively play destroyers occasionally. And uh, I have a very high win percentage in destroyers. Even with really bad teams, you can carry a game in a destroyer. Like, legitimately. It is much harder to carry a match in a, in a battleship or a cruiser than it is a destroyer. Tier 7 match. Okay. This is worst case scenario, guys. Remember that. We're bottom tier. Everything overmatches us. This is worst case scenario. Clearly, this is a bad ship. Remember that. Let's see what this thing's capable of. Again. What up, Banshee? How's it going? Glad you enjoy, man. I'm having fine. I, I'm I'm fine. I'm not mad or anything. It just gets boring. I mean, we literally had a destroyer that refused to do anything on our side, so we had no spotting to know that their destroyer had fucked off. Our carrier was completely useless as well right there. Like early in the game, he flies all the way across the map, caddy corner, to do something. And then he comes back and then is completely useless the rest of the game. Attention. Reporting the target position. So then when I realized that everybody was di dying, like Arizona's dead and everything, we just fucking pushed. Hmm, I thought we were going to get away with a free shot there, but we'll take it. 9400 first shot on a tier 7 battleship. Let's bow in. Hello, Siegfried. You could actually be a quite big problem for me, if I'm honest. You could be a real big problem for me with your 15-inch guns and how accurate you tend to be. Unless, of course, you don't shoot me. It's always an option, I suppose. Yes, that's always an option. I'm trying to get ahead of that torque protection. Just not able to hit it. It's 
Speaking of torque protection, I think he's only got six kilometer torpedoes, but we'll run it just in case. That could hurt. Oof. That could have been real bad. I think he's shooting too far forward. So he's just overpinning. If he comes around that island, I am going to blab him again. I don't know what his plan is here, but he's wrong. I legitimately, I could not tell you what this fucking dumbass Siegfried is doing. Like, this is death. Like, this is stupid. You're just throwing your ship away. Why did you even log into the game if this is what you were going to do? <laughs> he lives with no health. Funk. Like, why even bother if that's how you're going to play? Like, you know what I mean? Like, he did nothing. He just charged straight ahead, lost all of his hit points, and died. If I was his teammate, I'd be pissed. That's a great ship, too. Like, the fucking... Siegfried is a great ship. Why do I have a feeling that this guy is gonna, like, pull out, like, a full broadside here? Alright. Aim high on the Abagi. Prepare to fire at the uh, Vanguard here. Ooh, Zara's getting all, all sorts of fancy, huh? towards the right here. Hope to God this Amagi doesn't slap the piss out of me. Woo! Cheeky shot! Problem solved, Cheeky sir. shot! You miss all the shots you don't take, boys. Remember that. I'm still spotted, though. These guys are actually still spotting me. Destroyer out that direction. I guess it could be about uh, the Bismarck. Oh my god. It's harsh again and a destroyer. Hmm. Go for the Bismarck. That should be the end of the Bismarck. He destroyed an Remember, boys, it's a bad ship. It's a terrible ship. You should not play this ship. It's a fucking awful ship. Nobody. Nobody likes it. It's a terrible ship. Strapping Conqueror guns to a fucking Tier 6 is a terrible idea. Do I have the Florida? I do have the Florida. I actually just played it like, what, 10 minutes ago? Maybe it's 15 minutes ago? I don't know, something like that. We got a reload booster in the tank. We got an Azuri over here. We don't want to go crazy here. This game could still go either way. There's plenty of firepower on the enemy team here. Looks like we might get a cheeky shot here at this fucking Algerie. Enemy cruiser detected. Need to reload booster this guy because we already took all of his hit points. Fire! Oh my god, I hit the fucking spaced armor. French magic armor! Should have just waited. Should have waited. We know he's got torpedoes.
This man is getting so fucking lucky right now. Again, I make the case that this is a terrible ship that nobody should ever play. It is awful in every sense of the word. Just remember that. Problem solved, sir. Our team has taken the lead. He got, uh, he just got a bunch of pins there, never mind. His guns are on the roof. We got two more heals too, so we're fine. God dang it! It said I could fucking lob that, motherfucker! Quit lying to me! 40 seconds, we get another heal back. Remember, this is just a terrible ship, guys. It's a fucking awful ship. Nobody should ever play this ship. It's fucking terrible. We got 558 points. We don't have to do anything crazy. 16 seconds, we get another heal. We'll be back above half of our hit points because British heals, even though they're not super heals, which is another fucking stupid ass thing that I hear everybody talk about. Oh, it doesn't get super heals. It's still a fucking British heal. Well done. Well done. That's big. Still a British heal. It heals a lot of fucking damage. I'm still spotted. Oh look, it's the Zara. Oof. If you're gonna shoot the motherfucker, then shoot the guy before I shoot my gun. Also, can we just talk about the Zara coming around the corner just to shoot me? Like, dude literally pulls out, goes full broadside in front of a fucking Bismarck, and is like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot this guy. I'm gonna shoot the fucking guy with the super heal. Even though it's not a super heal. Like, the really good heal. <laughs> you gotta love the Spartan effect, man. People are bad at the game. They will throw themselves at you and just get yeeted over and over and over again. What are we up against? A lay terrible. That's like the easiest. Eh, I wouldn't say the easiest. It's not the scariest fucking destroyer in the world. Oh, it's harsh. I know that guy. Hi, harsh. Wow. Really? That was a great battle. Dude, we are not leading him enough. French, French destroyer, fast. Who'd have thunk it? Bismarck? 
takes one, dodges the rest. My teammate's fucking superstructure is like perfectly in the fucking way so I can't shoot my guns. He bounced off the island just enough to fuck me up on that one. You know he's gonna speed up again. Yeah. Our Benson should be like full, full bore going after him. Easy W. Easy W. Why are you trying? Just go spot the little turd. All right, let's pay attention. We know he's gonna fucking try to be shifty. So, as soon as I can see his fucking ship. Am I still not leading him enough? Good God, that thing's fast as fuck. Either that or these, show, these shells are just really, really slow. I don't know which it is. Torpedoes direct front. And he goes dark, firing his fucking guns at a destroyer. Meanwhile, we've got all the caps. He's just prolonging the fucking inevitable. He's not hitting anything. Come on, Harsh! Show yourself, man! Damn! You're not gonna win! Just get it over with. Like, you've got a fucking 700 point deficit. You've got half the enemy team. Like, go down swinging, sure, but damn. Alright, I definitely let him enough this time, right? Wrong. I got a fire, though. I got the fire. Dude, do you see how far I let him? Are these shells that slow? Or is he just that fast? I don't know which... I don't know which... Is Are the shells that slow, or is he just that fast? Or is it a combination of both? 2,800, 2,800 to our Benson as well. Well done. But, uh... Another 2,000 to our Jean Bart, but it's a Jean Bart, so... Eh, whatever. But, uh... Yeah, Collingwood, terrible ship, guys. Don't do it. Don't buy the Collingwood, it's terrible. It's a terrible ship. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. GG's harsh. Dude, your team wanted my giblets, and unfortunately, I was unwilling to give it to them. <laughs> Collingwood is, is bad. Uh, what a... We've played tier 6s. We've played tier 5s. We've played tier 7s. We've played... You know what? We haven't actually played a tier 8. That's what we haven't played. Do we go Minnesota? Do we go... Repub? We haven't played a Repub game. Let's go Repub. Have a good night, Eclipse. Appreciate you, my dude. What up, Derek? Welcome to the stream. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the stream, punch that like button for me. It does help the channel out quite a bit. Let's YouTube know that this is the place to be. Also, Jonathan, I'm not going to be playing the key. This might be my last one, to be honest. We've been streaming almost three hours at this point. So this might be the last one. You're determined to find a good game? Well, you're on my team, or you're on the enemy team. You got seven hipper on your side, so that's a thing. <laughs> we got a legendary carrier game. Yay. At least I got some AA. You punched the like button, but now your hand hurts. Well, you know, sometimes that's the price you pay. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of green. For purple mountain majesties across the fruited plain, America, 
America. God shed his grace on thee. And crown thy good with brotherhood. From sea to shining sea. Okay. What are the odds that this Yami like goes full bore into that gap? Of course he goes dark right as I'm about to be able to shoot at him. Every fucking time. Every god dang time. It's like, ah, oh, he's spotted for ten minutes. As soon as you get a chance to potentially fucking shoot him, that's when he's gonna disappear. Turns in towards me. Interesting. Very interesting. That's my strategy on this map when I spawn over there is to kind of go through that gap. It's, it's a pretty good one if you can get it some support. But uh, his team is running away from this side. My destroyer is taking a sweet ass time getting around the map. Got a potential shot here on this Awami superstructure. Good hit. Again, with the disappearing right as I'm about to get a shot every time every time <laughs> it's like ah oh, he's about to shoot disappear <laughs> every time it's like oh, he's got a he's got a beautiful fucking broadside opportunity on a Yami there goes a good chunk of his hit points you know what the direct counter is to that play, Mr. Yamato? Me. That's what. Ember. What do you hope to accomplish here, Mr. Ember? Please, enlighten me. Hope it was worth it, Hipper. Boost the motor désactivé. Carriers coming to say hello to Insta Fire. No, no fire. Okay. Destroyer ennemi envoyé par le fond. Palmer. Okay. We've got this cap, we've got the cap on the other side. We don't have to do anything crazy. Cheeky little turd burglars trying to shoot through the gap on me. The one shell that actually hits him gets the Citadel. Only we got more shells to actually hit the target there. Can we go forward? Probably. Got out ahead of him. Didn't get it that time. I don't know what this guy's thinking about doing with his carrier right now. Just 
Mortar is dealing with the Palmer. Hopefully. Ah, he's turning towards me. Kind of hoping that... Oh, the destroyer is still alive, but so is the Palmer. Less than ideal, if I'm honest. I'm not sure what this guy is hoping to accomplish with his... Musashi here. Musashi kills our Yami. I love that there's literally a destroyer right in front of this guy, and he shot me and uses his secondaries to target me. And there is literally a destroyer right there, just kind of begging for it. If he gets a flood, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. Okay. Didn't arm. Armor should be dead. Are we gonna get the clear skies? Maybe. Maybe not. In case you guys didn't know, me and Hipper have kind of a history, and it never ends well for Mr. Hipper. Like, we have had this exact thing happen a lot, where he kind of yellows in with his cruisers, and I show him why he should keep his uh, cruisers at range and continue his little steering builds. Because <laughs> it doesn't end in his favor most of the time. Are you... What the fuck? Yami shooting HE over the top of the island? Question mark? Like, am I actually dead? I just hit the wrong button. Am I actually dead here? That's a Marlboro. Okay. It's not the Yami. I don't know why I thought it was Yami still. Make it count. I waited. Nope, didn't count. Damn. We got our shit back just in time. But we did our job. That's a GG's. That's a GG. Mr. Hipper. Mr. Hipper. I don't know. That, that is not the only time I've had that happen. I don't know. It, it's just like he, he really wants to kill me for some reason. Like, he went for the hero play for a video, is all I can say. Like, he was straight going for the hero play. He's like, ah, I've got Spartan right where I want him. And he's got another guy. And he got the one, but he didn't get me. I'm not falling for that shit. Sorry. Not, not that dumb. All right. I know, contrary to what some may believe, I am not that dumb. What up, Kimmy? Welcome. Have I ever considered putting the New Jersey Commander on the Texas? I have not. Because most of the shots that you get in Texas aren't over 10 kilometers, so it wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. Plus, how many Citadels are you getting at low tiers? Except on maybe cruisers. And even then, like, you don't need the extra damage from the Citadel. Like... Have a good night, Banshee. Appreciate you. Duke, good to see you as well. I think the last two matches have been a pretty solid ending to the three. What do you guys think? If for nothing else but the, uh, the entertainment value, anyway. Maybe not the highest damage games in the world, but pretty solid. Also, been a pretty solid three. We had a couple of rough games early on, but from a salt perspective, there was really only the one fucking time where we just got heated by that fucking Vladdy's bullshit. Like, Losing both front guns on my Jean Bart and failing to fucking death or finish off the kill on him. That's just brutal. Iwami gets the kill. GG's. What up, Rick? One more! Good night, Evan. Appreciate you, my dude. One more! Not too bad. Where's Mr. Hipper? What was he in? Oh, he was, yeah, he's top of the leaderboard. 900 base XP. He got the dev strike. 
but he didn't get he didn't get the double. He tried. He tried. In fairness, he did try. Did he send us a message? No. Well, GG, Mr. Hipper, if you uh, see this. Uh, let's go Minnesota, I guess. We'll, we'll play one more. We'll go Minnesota. No, I lied. I'm not playing Minnesota. I don't want to play Tier 8. Hmm. Let's go down Tier tier 5. We'll play the West Virginia to end the stream. How about that? We'll play the West Virginia to end. What up, Hipper? Good to see you, my dude. <laughs> I figured you would drop by. I was like, I wonder if he sent us a message. But yeah, that, that was never... Like, GG for getting one of them, but you weren't going to get me. I'm not going to be that dumb. Yeah, I mean, you, you were completely unspotted until until you made your play, so congrats on that. But uh, I was definitely not going to be a part of your video for being a double death strike. Sorry. <laughs> not going to happen, Hipper. I, I I see that. Am I Am I missing something else? What up, Olympus? Have a good night, man. Appreciate you, everybody, dropping in. You think you're in my lobby? Uh-oh. Why are you in my lobby? Dirty, rotten, filthy stream snipers. Get out my lobby! Oh. So many tonight. But what else is new? I know what you were hoping for, Hipper. I could see the video title right now. I could see the video title right now. Be like, got Spartan Elite in a double death strike in Yoshino. Just fucking plastered on front page news. But nope. I denied it. Not allowing it. You're not allowed. <laughs> I hey, this ain't my first rodeo hipper. We've we've been at this before. <laughs> every time every time we're in a game together, you and I seem to come together and it never seems to go your favor. Like you've you've had some some good ones that range against me, but up close and personal doesn't usually end in your favor. Because you're in cruisers and I'm in battleships. And I'm not a complete idiot most of the time. Most of the time. Shot at the New York. Free... A free shot without being detected? Hello? Yes, please. And a four god dang destroyer game? That's rare. The first thing I saw when I saw it was you coming around the corner. Is like, I am not going to be part of this double dev strike. I see how this is going to go. This is not going to happen. You went for the home run and you got, you got half of it. You got a double. You just didn't get the double you wanted. <laughs> got a round roll double. Bounced over the fence so you got to stop it at second. Through the fucking window. Look at that shit. Do you see that shit? Through the window. To the window! To the wall! To the wall! To the sweat rug that would. <laughs> Alright, New York, you had it you had a good run. Goodbye. What else we got? We got Byron over there. We got a Yugo. We got a Cali kind of hanging around. We got a destroyer heading in my general direction. Why do I have a feeling that this... Oh, it's Fallen Mouse is in here too. Like we got all the peeps. Okay. Well. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Can't quite lob that. Noodles. I like noodles. Hey, look, it's Fallen Mouse, too. You notice how, like, all the destroyers are suddenly, like, 
group it up on me. Like, I don't think this is gonna go quite the way that they thought it was gonna go. Down goes Noodles. And down goes Fallen Mouse. <laughs> oh, the Spartan effect is real, boys! <laughs> well done. Good show. Hello, New York. Goodbye. Citadel for good measure. <laughs> when will people learn to stop just yellowing me? When? When will they learn? Stop. Get help. <laughs> oh, good lord. Never ceases to amaze me. Good hit. Hopefully we get in reverse sometime here in the near future. Oof. Those full broadside eats a huge salvo of something. He could definitely sit it on me right through the front if he gets a good hit. Oh look, torpedoes. Who could have seen that coming? Worked out really well for their team to try to like kill me with their destroyer so far. I don't have the angle, really. Look at the amount of attention I get during a battle. Torpedoes dead ahead. That's pretty goddamn impressive. Ooh, no flood. Noise. I need intelligence data. Can somebody like go out and spot this? I would really rather not continue to have destroyers just reloading torps every 20 seconds on me. Harsh. Dude, how many? There's four god dang destroyers in this lobby. Four of them. Three of them are people in my stream chat right now. Four destroyers in this lobby while I'm playing a battleship. Three of them are in my stream chat. Three of you! You dirty, rotten stream snipers. Dirty, rotten, no good, pig stealing, great great grandfathers. You guys get that reference? Dirty, rotten, no good, pig stealing, great great grandfather. Nah, it's all good, dude. I don't care. I'm just having having a good time tonight. Like, you guys know by now. Like, I always try to tell people, like, just take what I say during streams with a grain of salt. Like, most of the time, it's not said to be, like, a dick or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just fucking playing to the fucking crowd, so keep that in mind. Like, I legitimately don't care. I mean, you saw what happened to you guys that were trying to come after me anyway, so. Mm, this could be juicy. Be juicy right through the cheek. Come Torpedoes on. Deport. Mm, didn't get it. Owie. Oh! I live for the moment. You failed, Mr. Harsh. Got full health in his West Virginia. This is what happens when you don't have to get shot for the entire match. Like Spartans in this lobby, we don't have to get shot. Straight through the bow side plating in front of the front turret. Let's see it. Come on. Shot placement at its finest. Come on, West Virginia. Well, actually, at this point, just shoot the shoot straight at the water line. There you go. I was gonna say at this angle, you don't have to go through the bow side plating. Just go straight to the citadel. GG's. End the stream on a high one more. Look at you guys. Look at you guys. Oh, for sure, Godzilla. That, that song was literally everywhere. You remember uh, Need for Speed 
2, I think it was. Need for Speed Underground 2, I think. Or no. No, it was the original Need for Speed that that one was in. Let's see. How many people do I know in this lobby? Well, this guy has been in every... Where, where'd he go? This guy has been in every game for like the last hour and a half. So I'm going to say he's probably in chat. He's, he's followed us around tier to tier as well. We know Harsh is in the chat. We know Fallen Mouse is in the chat. We know Noodles, I think, is in the chat. Nah, it's all good, Harsh. Like I said, I don't care. You guys know that by now. Like, it, it just, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm done complaining. I just fucking deal with it. But it's, it is pretty funny. It is pretty funny. It's like, how many people are trying to counter my battleship? One destroyer, two destroyers, three destroyers, and a really accurate reload boosting battleship. You was the T-61? Oh, okay. So you were on my team? Wait, where is the T-61? I don't even see a T-61. You were not in my lo- Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. Little lobster. I see you. <laughs> I, I see you now. Okay. Well, crap. I want to end the stream. I really do. But I also want to end on a good game. And we have not had the game yet. Do we just jump into Kansas, get a good game, and be done? Let's do it. Kansas, don't fail me now. Th yeah, it was the original Need for Speed. But Need for Speed, Need for Speed Underground 2 was fantastic. Like, there was a lot of good Need for Speeds early on. Like, Need for Speed Underground 2 was kind of busted. Like, I, I used to play that shit all the time. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world back in the day when you could, like, change out, like, the speakers and shit in your car. Like, that was the shit. I had a uh, 2004 SVT Ford Focus ZX3. Little Cosworth. Just humming along 200 miles an hour on the highway. Because, <laughs> you know, four banger. <laughs> What we got? Top tier, carrier game, Richie, Turpitz, Zeton. I'm not scared of this lobby. Carrier could be a potential problem for us, but honestly, it's a Kaga instead of a Shokaku, so I'm not too scared of it. General quarters. Destro uh, cruiser to our left. There is two destroyers in this lobby. That's the unfortunate side. It is also the shortened lobby, or shortened map version. Need for Speed Most Wanted. The original was really good as well, dude. It really was. What do we got? Chumfin. Okay. Major Dysfunction? I like it. I like that name. Pretty good. Mr. Luva? Lova? Lava? Spelled wrong? North Carolina could be a juicy target. If I can get within range. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, sunshine. Come on, Kansas. Start it off with a banger. Hello, Grim Reaper. That's gonna sting a bit. Not as bad as it could have, though. You get away with it, for now. Uh, we are gonna have to keep our eyes on that Turpitz, though. Okay, we still got spotted. Despite having a smoke firing penalty. Oh, destroyer in the middle of the map. That's who spotted us. Uh, there's a destroyer here? Question mark? Not question mark. Guarantee there's a destroyer here. There 
there's a... Okay, let's turn. The gun's turning as well. Should have uh, guns loaded in time to blap this turp. It's through the bow side plating. We could... Oh, never mind. He just beached himself. Now we move our Odin. confident that that's going to get through there. The enemy team what do they got? The Z-35 and a Fletcher. Fletcher's in the mid, so this is definitely a Z-35. Not the scariest fucking thing to go up against. Spotted, so he's not in a smoke. Could have been the turpid spotting me, to be honest. This Turbitz has lost all his hit points. Still alive, though, so he's still potentially dangerous. So let's just make sure that that's not going to be a problem much longer. Enemy battleship destroyed. how this ends. Problem is, you've got a goddamn Fletcher right there fucking shooting at me with an Atlanta now. Requesting support. He's not going to be able to sit in that smoke screen forever and, and jack us, so. He's got to hang in there. should be dissipating at some point. Now we've got the secondaries from that little turd fucking going. Didn't hit where we wanted. Lanta just lost all his hit points. Fucking carriers coming over to say hello to. He's gonna get a flood, I know it. Yeah, he didn't get the flood. Battleship down. Okay, we don't have to worry about him. Z 35 is not a threat, really. Especially if he's shooting AP for God knows why. Who the fuck else is out there? Is that the... Surely not. Oh, hello. Nice of you to show yourself, mister. Flood. Oh my god, I cannot believe I haven't been flooded by this guy. Truthfully. Let's try aiming a little bit higher. Look at the damage that little fucker turd does. There's the Citadel. Fucking damage, man. Fuck out of here. Seven K. Oh, we live. Problem solved, sir. Torpedoes to port. Double fired. The ship is on fire. That's so toxic, man. 
If only I had a fucking chumpfin that's full health. That could, like, maybe move out. Go after the little turd. Why are you trying... You Surely you weren't torping a fucking smoke screen with a destroyer in it with deep water torps, right? Like, come on. I know the one set was definitely for the carrier. The second set was definitely sent into the smoke screen of the destroyer. The fact that he let that fucking, like, destroyer just sit there and just dack away, kind of annoying. He could have definitely moved. And now he's going to sit next to the fucking destroyer. The destroyer is right there. The destroyer is right here. And he's just going to park next to him. <laughs> what is even going on right now? Does this guy have, like, hello? He can't be this. He, he's not this incompetent, right? He might be this incompetent. I'm kind of waiting for the surprise butt sex to occur. It's gonna happen. Oh look, surprise butt sex! Who could have seen that coming? Unfortunately, there's a gap just wide enough for him to sit in without doing really anything to dodge it. Goes full broadside, gets Citadel. Z-35, I'm rooting for at this point. Come on, Z. Citadel the piss out of him. I'm rooting for you, Z. You got this. You're failing miserably at citadel him. Come on now. I like how he's requesting... Oh, it was the carrier requesting support. <laughs> Uh, I was so rooting for that Z-35 to kill that guy. Have a good night, man. Have a good night, Dylan. What up, Michael? How's it going? Uh, 2,000 base isn't bad. It's not much damage. What up, XR-8? How's it going? Jacob, you know this means one more game. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Dude, EA... EA gets their grubby little paws on everything and just ruins it every time. Tell me I'm wrong. Atomic coming in, re-upping his membership for 18 months. Appreciate you, my dude. Get some goats in the chat for Atomic, Drippy, and Unhinged. Yeah, EA used to be good, but then they became money-hungry motherfuckers that don't do anything correctly. They half-ass everything. Everything's the same goddamn... It's just like fucking uh, Call of Duty. Call of Duty is the same fucking thing. They're, they're so worried about getting a new game every single fucking year that they end up just making the same game every fucking year. Oh, look at us. We've got 3D grass now. Woo! Oh, here's, here's some loot boxes, because everybody likes loot boxes. Battle starts. What up, Rogue? Good to see you. Tilltop, good to see you as well. If I missed anybody tonight, please yell at me. I, I do try to get everybody called out. Dale, I see you as well. Skillator. All right, come on now. One good game to end them all. Let's go. We got a black. We got a linen. It's Zatu! I know that guy. This guy's got the best RNG on the goddamn planet. We might be able to catch this Iowa here over the top of that island. He's not going to see that coming. Oh, that could have been better. Could have been better, if I'm honest. Zatu fires over the island, and look is in fucking good. Okay, he didn't sit a Della either. Ooh, hello. 
ZZ sleeps? Sleps? Okay. ZZ sleeps, huh? Can we look at the motherfucking ship that I'm targeting, Water please? Air. Hello, Helena! How are you? My name's Spartan. I'm in the Kansas. Tip <laughs> destroyed one of his turrets for good measure. ZZ sleeps, and so does my Kansas. And that's your death. I knew it. I knew it. I saw it coming. I was like, that's your death. You're done. You're done, sunshine. Hi, Harsh. I know you too. What are you doing out there dropping smoke screens for your little light cruiser pals? You know that's bad for your health, right? Oh, you little turd monger. I was about to take the shot too. Oh, shit. Do we have both their destroyers here? Oh, oh, that's, you gotta hate that. You gotta hate that. Hello, sunshine. Welcome to high tier gameplay. <laughs> uh, how did you think that was gonna go, sunshine? Also, aren't you glad you dropped that smoke screen for those light cruisers? Like, I'm sure that that was what you had in mind for those guys, right? Now you're radared by our, our USS Black. I know Zatu, if he has a shot, will take a shot at you. Fuck, why did he smoke up? Damn it! You can't win a gunfight against a fucking Fletcher? What is, what is even the purpose of a USS Black then? Dude, I am, I am on, I'm gonna yeet this guy. Oh, he's turning towards me. Of course he is. It's like he fucking knows that I'm about to yeet him into oblivion. All stations. Hello, Harsh. Goodbye, Harsh. Ah! He lives from that? And he took one from Zatu, too? You need to go count your freaking RNG right now. That man just took five overpins from me and from Zatu. And he's still alive. Alright, we're in a decent position to catch him as he's, he's like bowing to everybody here. Try to hit that superstructure. Hello, Iowa. My name is Spartan Elite. I'm in the Kansas. Look at that damage. That's superstructure all day. Open for business. You know Harsh dropped torps on me, right? Like, that's a thing for sure. 100%. Our team is taking the lead. Or maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't drop torps on me. Maybe he's just preoccupied with surviving. If only our, our USS Black wasn't like 10 miles behind the guy. Because he had to sit in a smoke screen. Come on, Harsh. Why don't you show yourself so I can finish your little scrawny butt off? Huh? Show yourself, coward! Oh, look. Superstructure. Oh, Torps. Zatu? I don't know. Can't tell. Looks looks like Zatu is fine. Well done. Or superstructure, since uh, he's not going to show himself. Do 
Dude, look at that damage superstructure. And we knocked a gun. Like, that's just so nasty. That's why Kansas is so good. Make sure that that guy's dead. Enemy battleship destroyed. Your team is fumbling, Mr. Harsh. Spotter airborne. He's not close enough to be radar, so there's that. Wonder where Harsh is. Torpedo protection. Bonk. Honor returning to ship. Oh, you hate to see it. All of that work for one torpedo. It's kind of like that moment when Tony Stark like whoops the shit out of. Uh, of uh, Thanos just to grab like one drop of blood. That's that moment right there. Like he worked so hard, tried so hard, got so far. In the end, problem solved, sir. Doesn't even matter. Fire your guns again. Here, let me give you something to shoot at. Come on. I ain't scared. Shoot me. He's like, I got torpedoes. I'll torp you. That may be the case. But I'm not worried about your little pea shooter torpedoes. Your little 533 millimeter torpedoes are kind of trash. Especially when you're thick as the Kansas. Don't worry though, I'll capture your base while you're out there running away. <sighs> oh, look, torpedoes. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Isn't that nice? Wow, that torp's all the way out there. Talk about an outlier torp. Why is he smoking up? There's a radar. All stations. Ah, the fucking bullshit with the fucking five second delay. Boyne! Enemy destroyer found is in sight. I like how out of everybody here, he shot me. <laughs> Love you too, harsh. Boyne! There are other destroyers here, too. At least he reset the cap. So that we can sit here for another 50 seconds. Zatu's got 15k, so he's definitely not on... Uh... Oh, look! Torpedoes. Definitely not on Will to Rebuild. Even though I don't think Zatu would run Will to Rebuild. Hell, I don't even need to use my heal. It's just been sad funny but sad he's over there fire the guns oh we did not lead him enough hold that thought
spin around. Come on. No! Mine! Mine! I had to reset you. Yeah, you get a little bit more XP out of it. 2,000 base XP for shy of a Kraken. Zatu coming in there with a uh, nice 1,700. Uh, it seems like it's not meant to be, boys. I'm not allowed to have the, the game to end on. So with that, I'm going to call it. It's almost four hours into the stream. Uh, plus, it's 4.30 in the morning. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this stream. For once, it's a stream where I didn't lose my goddamn mind. The only time I did was against the fucking Vladdy, and that was that was rightfully so. Let's be real. Like, that was warranted fucking salt, okay? <laughs> that was warranted. Uh, let's check what our, our stats were for tonight. I feel like we had a pretty good night. Let's see what we got. Recent battles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13, and 6. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's what, about uh, 66%? About 66%? That's not bad. It's not bad. What up, Snow? How's it going? Uh, Malik, good to see you as well. Sorry that you got here just at the end. Um... Yeah, I'm glad you enjoy, man. I'm glad you enjoy, Malik. Also, what up, Aiden? I see you as well. Just got death struck by an Agincourt. Oh, okay. I thought you were... When I, when you said Konigsberg, I thought for sure you were the guy, but I think it was a Nuremberg that was up against us. But uh, you blame you blame Wargaming for not giving you a teammate with a brain? I don't know, man. You had some decent teammates over the time. Because remember, there was a lot of stream snipers in this in your lobbies. But there was also a lot of people that were trying real hard to get a hold of me and just playing really poorly. So it happens. It happens. But not a bad night overall. Um, let's see what our stats are real quick in some of our favorite chips, shall we? Like, we, we ain't... Let's just... Let's see what we got. So in our Kansas, what is our stats? We're at 66% win rate with a 43% main gun accuracy. With 494 battles played, almost 500. We're six games away from 500 battles played in the uh, the Kansas. It's very quickly approaching to be in my top uh, top like ships played in this game. But uh, average 1600 base XP with an average of 97,000 damage, which is pretty solid. Uh, potential damage 1 million average potential. You'll love to see it. If you are in a battleship and you have less than a million potential damage average like you're not playing a battleship correctly in my opinion potential damage of all time 3.2 million on the kansas my highest damage ever in the kansas 228,000 damage because it's a terrible ship terrible ship what up garrett abigail good to see you as well uh, i've done like one more like six games in a row now <laughs> uh let's look at our iowa real quick Let's see what our stats are. I forget what our stats are. We got 63% win rate in the Iowa. Makes sense. 970 games played in the Iowa. 30 away from 1,000 games played. 39% main gun accuracy because reasons. Don't, don't make fun of me. 1,600 base XP average with a 1.1 million potential damage average. Not bad. Highest damage, 226,000 damage in the Iowa. Again, because Iowa's trash, you can't play it, right? 2.9 million potential best in the in the uh, Iowa. So not quite as high as my Kansas. Mm, what else you guys want to look at? Can we go... Let's, let's bring up the legendaries as well. We'll pull up the tier 8s and legendaries. So, from a tier 8 per standpoint... Where'd you go? Oh. Forgot. Okay, so... Let's look at, uh, uh, we'll go with Montana. I, I don't really care about the Minnesota stats. It's probably terrible. But uh, Montana, 65% win rate in Legendary Tier with just under 500 battles played. 42% main gun accuracy. Not too shabby. Average damage is 106,000, so pretty solid. Potential damage is only is, is at 1.2 million average. That's pretty good. Pretty solid. 
Max damage ever, 289,000 damage. Because, you know, Montana bad. Almost a 4K base XP game in the fucking Montana. Because Montana bad. Look at that. Look at that. 3,957%. Or 3,957 maximum base XP. That's solid. 4.4 million damage potential in our best game. Kind of crazy. What is my Georgia accuracy? Believe it or not, my Georgia accuracy is not as bad as you'd think. So if we look at Georgia, we have a 69% win rate in Georgia because Georgia has more speed. It's able to get around the maps a little bit easier for a battleship, so it allows you to be in positions to win the games a little bit more often than, say, Kansas. Uh, but look at the main gun accuracy, 47%. And the reason being is because generally I'm in a position where I'm a little closer to the enemy than I am in, say, like Kansas or Iowa. So I tend to be a little closer to the enemy in the Georgia. But yeah, pretty solid stats. My best game in Georgia still has not broken 200,000 damage, though. Still haven't broken 200k in a, in a Georgia. But that's the thing. Georgia's not accurate. I'm accurate. But that just speaks to the fact that I tend to be, like, uh, closer to the target with the Georgia because of its bad accuracy. You literally only get, like, one or two, two shells per salvo to hit the target. That, that's, that's, a, that's the only issue that I have with the Georgia. If it was a little bit more consistent with the guns, I would love the Georgia. But it's just not. It's only got, it's just only firing six shells downrange. So you notice every time that you have bad RNG. You know what I mean? It's not like the Kansas where you got 12 rounds going downrange. So even a bad salvo, you still get a pretty good chunk. Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice... 66% win rate on the Yami with almost 700 games played. 43% main gun accuracy on the Yami. 117,000 damage average. Pretty solid. 1,758 average base XP with a 1.2 million average potential damage. Uh, and Yami with a ridiculous 4.6 million potential damage record for this. That's my highest, I think, overall on any ship that I'm aware of. But uh, maximum damage on the Yami is only 273,000, which is kind of crazy when you think of the, the uh, Montana doing 289,000. And didn't get as much XP either, 3,643 base XP. But the other thing you, you got to think of, if you hit a single shell in a salvo, that, can, that counts as accurate, you know what I mean? Like, that's how that works. Like it, when you fire your guns in salvo fires, if you hit a single shell, that's a, that's a hit. You know what I mean? So you you don't you don't miss that much. It's just that you only get like one or two hits per salvo usually. Um, let's see what else we got. Let's go Bismarck. Let's look at the Bismarck B here. What is our stats? 63% win rate in the Bismarck, 42% main gun accuracy, 16 battles played, 100,000 average damage, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Average XP of 1,700 with a 1 1.4 million potential. My highest ever, that's actually pretty impressive, 3.6 million on a tier 7 battleship, that's pretty solid. Maximum damage though, 179,000. So, maximum XP only 2885. Like I said, I, I am not the best player in this game. I've never claimed to be. I'm above average. That's all I've ever claimed in this game. This, surprisingly, is my highest XP ship, believe it or not. So if we look at this, 68% win rate in the uh, Tirpitz, 62 battles played. Main gun accuracy, 38%. So, awful. Uh, XP average 1777 with an average damage of just 66,000. So not particularly good in that, in that sense. Highest battle though, 148,000 with a 4,331 base XP. That is my highest XP I've ever gotten on a ship in a match. And that was during a stream one night, a long time ago, but 2.3 million average or not average, but highest damage. So you'll love to see it. Um, let's look at Kerr first. How bad is the Kerr first? 
60% win rate. That sounds about right. Main gun accuracy, 40%, so slightly below, but not, not too bad. I've never complained about the accuracy of the GK. It's been pretty solid. The guns are pretty solid on the GK. 91,000 average damage for a legendary, though. That's pretty bad for a battleship, legendary battleship. 1,500 base XP, again, pretty bad. Potential damage, 1.3 is okay. Uh, it's higher than most of my battleships average. 223,000 damage maximum, so not too shabby there. A little bit lower than the rest of my legendary tier battleships, as you'd expect. And just under 3, three million base uh, potential. Jean Bart, I imagine, would be a pretty good stats-wise, because I feel like I always get good games in this. 64% with 230 games played, 41% main gun accuracy. Uh, 99,000 average damage at Tier 7, so that tells you it's pretty solid. 1,800 average base XP with a 1.1 million average potential damage. I honestly thought that would be higher, because I tend to be really aggressive in the Jean Bart. But uh, maximum damage, 245,000. Again, it's one of the... One of the best tier 7 battleships with uh, maximum XP just under 4K. Like, you can see, we knock on the door of 4K in our battleships across the board, which is impressive. All right, 4K damage, or 4K potential, or god dang it, 4K base XP in battleships is actually extremely impressive. Like, it really is. Like, you don't get 4K uh, base XP games in, in battleships very often. Like, that's really impressive. That's a hell of a game. But, uh... Again, 97,000 damage upon our spotting. That's actually higher than most, but again, that speaks to the fact that we tend to be at the front. And our highest potential damage, 2.4 million, so a little bit lower than I would expect. Repub, how, how good is this, or the stats of the repub? 67% win rate, 44% main gun accuracy, so solid there. Average damage, 105,000 damage. This thing literally has almost as much average damage as my fucking Montana, and it only has two quad guns. That should tell you everything you need to know about this thing. This thing's nasty. Okay, you don't want to give this thing a broadside. 1,700 average base XP is pretty solid. 1.1 million potential. Um, 228,000 damage, so pretty solid there as well. 2.2 million potential damage maximum. That actually seems a little low, but again, right there is max XP knocking on the door of 4K base. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Uh, I don't think there's much more that you guys need to look at. I think everything else is pretty meh. But uh, thank you guys for dropping in. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed fuck i can't speak hopefully you enjoyed the stream and if you like what i'm doing punch the like button leave a comment below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always i will see you in the next video have a great night everybody